It's a crisp Saturday afternoon in DeKalb, Illinois. The Northern Illinois Huskies in Mid-American Conference action. One more time, they'll battle the Ball State Cardinals. Good afternoon, everybody. Alongside former coach Bob Kamel, I'm David Kaplan. One more game, Bob. This is the finale for Northern Illinois seniors, their last chance to step on the field. David, I don't think there's any question. Ball State wins this football game. They have an opportunity to go to a bowl game. But don't kid yourself. Joe Novak football, there's a lot at stake. Number one, pride. Number two, the senior class. This is their last chance to represent their team at Husky Stadium on Robert Brigham Field. They want to go out winners, and the young guys want to make sure that they play well enough to send these seniors out victorious. All right, now Justin Anderson, a 1,000-yard rusher. In fact, Northern Illinois, the only program in the country to have a 1,000-yard rusher every year the past nine, this kid could play. There's no doubt about it, but also remember one thing, David. This is one of the finest coach offensive lines that you will see. Justin's a fine player. But without that offensive line, that well-coached offensive line, it's difficult to gain those yards. All right, Justin Anderson's had a whale of a year. He's caught the ball well out of the backfield. He's run the ball very effectively, and he has found the end zone. But Ball State has an outstanding quarterback, Nate Davis, one of the best in the league. David, if, uh, if you would consider what a player means to his team at the quarterback position, Nate Davis is as good as any in the country. He can attack you with a multiplicity of abilities. He can throw the football, he can run the football, but most importantly, he gets his team into the right play. All right, so it's Nate Davis and his aerial attack against the run game of Northern Illinois. We will have the opening kickoff, the starting lineups. It's all coming up. Northern Illinois football's next on Comcast Sportsnet. This broadcast of Northern Illinois Husky football is brought to you by Patty's Pub and Grill, the official tailgate home of NIU Athletics. Village Commons Bookstore for all your Husky clothing and souvenirs. Visit bcbs.com. Applebee's, try Applebee's, car side to go, you call it in, we bring it out. Casey's General Stores, the official convenience store of NIU Athletics. Casey's, a convenience store and a whole lot more. Blaine's Farm and Fleet, I found it at Farm and Fleet. Jewel, we take one stop shopping to the next level. TCF Bank opens seven days. The NIU MBA program, take the NIU MBA challenge. The NIU Alumni Association, stay connected with NIU. Kishwaukee Hospital, health, heart, home. And Resource Bank, where banking is a pleasure. Welcome back to Brigham Field, Husky Stadium in DeKalb, Illinois. We are just about ready to kick this one off. Ball State won the toss. They have deferred, so Northern Illinois will go on offense first. Let's go down to the third member of our crew, Kenny McReynolds, take it away. Well, David, you know, NIU and Ball State, one of the oldest rivalries in the MAC Conference. Well, starting next year, these two teams will become the newest trophy game when they play because now they are going to play for the Bronze Stock Trophy starting next year. Local DeKalb artist and sculptor Renee Bennis has designed the trophy of a coin stock. So now, next year, they will be going for the coin stock trophy. Hey, Cap, I tried to get them to name it the Bronze Kaplan Trophy, but they said it. No go, Kenny. Thank you, Kenny. Yeah, I didn't figure that that would fly. <laughs> All right, Bobby, let's take a look at the keys to the game, the resource bank keys to the game for Northern. Northern Illinois has to control the football. They have to establish a running game. Reason being, they have to keep the Ball State quarterback off the field. Nate Davis has to stay off the field. They have to control the football. Long drives of 12 plays or more. The other thing, make him throw the football. Make Nate throw the football. They don't want to permit Ball State to establish a running game. Why? You've got a very very windy conditions out here today. That will be the key for Northern Illinois. Run the ball, control the pass, and make him do things other than throw the ball downfield and get into some type of a rhythm. Well, it's going to be real interesting to see what happens here this afternoon because you and I were down on the field and it was so cold as you take a look at the two head coaches, Joe Novak for Northern Illinois, Brady Hoke, a Ball State grad for the Ball State Cardinals. Evans Adonis and Patrick George are deep as we kick this one off, but it was very windy. It will be very interesting to see how it affects what they try to do offensively. Evans Adonis 
takes the kick, and he is at the 30-yard line where Northern will put it in play. This is the NIU NBA opening kickoff. 14.53 left in the first. It's David Kaplan, the coach, Bob Kamel, and Kenny McReynolds with you here in DeKalb on a beautiful Saturday, a little chilly, but uh, this is what you think about when you think of November football. I don't think there's any question. It's a gorgeous day. I mean, this is what football is all about. College football in the Midwest, Mid-American Conference, David, doesn't get any better than this. Stand by. We'll have our Applebee starting lineups for you in just a moment. Ryan Morris at quarterback. Dan Nicholson is dressed, not expected to play. Morris completes his first pass, and that will get Northern Illinois a gain of about four or five. Brandon Beal, the big tight end, makes the catch. Huskies will be very careful throwing the football today. Well, you've got a young guy in here who has to get into a rhythm. Give him a few simple things to do first before you start to throw the ball downfield. There's a look at the offensive line anchored by Chris Acevedo, who will play on Sundays. And your guy, Jason Anipuaku. Hand off to Justin Anderson, picks his way, dragged down. Real nice play by Amara Karama, who stepped up out of Homewood, Illinois, for Ball State number 93 and made the tackle. There's Ryan Morris, the quarterback, number 15, just the sophomore. Dan Nicholson was the starter, suffered a concussion. He is in uniform, but again, is not expected to see action today. Handoff, Justin Anderson picks his way, and he will be dragged down on third down. Huskies will come up short. Bryant Haynes, a weak side linebacker. You know, David, I talk about a young quarterback. Remember one thing. They honored nine seniors before the game. Nine seniors total. Senior leadership on the offensive side of the football with a young quarterback is critically important. Those seniors in the huddle, they have to take over. B.J. Hill, the deep man for Ball State. Andy Dittbenner, the punter for Northern Illinois, will kick it away. There is no rush, and he kicks it into the wind. This one will bounce and roll and stop dead right around the 20. Three or four now. Northern Illinois picks it up, but I do not believe that it was touched by a Ball State partner. We will find out. I do not believe it was. David, that's one of the things of uh, young, one of the young men, either side of the ball, you're fielding a punt today and this type of a wind, and you call it off, you have to make sure everybody knows. And it will be Ball State football right around the 27th or 28th. Let's take a look at some of the seniors that were honored before today's game, Bob. And you mentioned just nine of them. But Chris Acevedo, number 70, just one heck of a football player. Well, he's from Curry High School. He was coached by his, his uncle, Leo. Jim Phillips giving him a big hug there, and well, he should. These are great young guys. If you look at the type of young men Joe Novak recruits, team captain, MVP, National Honor Society, Joe recruits character. Yeah, it was amazed going through the roster early in the year as we were prepping for a game. There's so many National Honor Society guys, it's crazy. I mean, you never see that. That's such a good thing to see. And Nate Davis goes up top and makes the completion. I believe he hit Darius Hill over the middle. Big gain, and they move it into Husky territory. But you, it would take a look at this. Davis had a chance to throw with the wind. Watch the arm strength, wind or no wind. This young guy, great technique, great technician, sets, throws on the line. That ball had to be thrown one place between two defenders, and that's where he put the football. I really like this kid. I was watching him warm up, and I was amazed, amazed by the strength of his arm. And I mentioned earlier, David, about him getting the team into the right play. He's a student of the game. Gain of 31 yards, and it's a first and 10 in Northern Illinois territory. Davis throws, hits his second straight, and that will be another Ball State first down. Dante Love made the catch. Appleby starters for the Ball State Cardinals of Brady Hoke. You see Clancy, the tailback, and the outstanding wide receiver group led by Dante Love. 14 yards on that play. First and 10 for the Cardinals, the Huskies 27. First and 10 Cardinals at the Husky 26. And the Huskies tripped that one up in the backfield. Real nice job by DJ Perkle from his nose guard spot. But we were talking about character. As I was going through the list, Northern Illinois has got to have more National Honor Society student athletes than any team in the country. David, and that's reflective of Joe Novak. 
you get into a philosophy. I was a recruiting coordinator, and we all said the, the pack travels at the, at the speed of the leader. Joe Novak sets the precedent for recruiting the type of young men he wants at Northern Illinois. Davis, play action, looking, looking, pressure. He avoids two tackles and slides down. It'll be a gain of maybe a yard, maybe. Northern Illinois had a great chance, Bobby, at a sack here. Well, this is a coverage sack, okay? But uh, understand, Nate Davis, as I mentioned before, you have to have athletic quarterbacks in this day and age. Defensive linemen are too big and too fast. And he takes basically what could have been an eight or nine yard sack and turns it into a three yard game. Spencer Williamson was one of the guys that came over and made that tackle. So it brings up a third and seven situation. Football's loose, and I believe Davis fell back on top of it. He did. So Nate Davis will recover the fumble, and it will bring up a fourth down situation. But with the win, our spotter Todd Armour and I were watching, as you see the fumble here, we were watching earlier in the game, Bob, or in the, pre the uh, practice, the warm-ups, as you see Davis dive on it. We were watching both kickers, and for Ball State, Ian McGarvey was knocking them through with the win, of course, from 56 yards. So this is a chip shot for him from 45, based on what we saw before the game. Snap, set, it's got a lot of distance, and he's got it. I mean, he drills that one easy. You know, real quick, David, getting back to Nate Davis falling on the football, a lot of guys would have tried to pick that football up and run with it. That was a heads-up play. All right, Ball State picks up a field goal. They are on top of Northern Illinois by three early. All right, three nothing ball stayed on a 46 yard field goal. The broadcast rights for this event have been granted to Comcast Sportsnet by Northern Illinois University. Any reproduction or rebroadcast without the expressed written consent of Comcast Sportsnet and NIU is strictly prohibited. All right, back to action. Patrick George, Evans Adonis. The deep man, this is Evans Adonis, and he will be. The 22 or 23 yard line. Trey Bice came over, number eight, and made the tackle. So the Huskies will go on the attack at their own 22 yard line. You know, Brady Hoke and Joe Novak have one thing in common. Not only are they head football coaches at the Mid American Conference, both of them played in the Mid American Conference. Brady Hoke played for Ball State, an 82 graduate. Joe Novak played for Miami of Ohio, his head football coach, the late great Bo Schumbach. The, what a great cradle of coaches that came out of there. Ryan Morris with Justin Anderson, the single back set. Anderson gets the hand up, picks his way, and is met immediately. He may have gained one, may have gained a yard. So Northern Illinois certainly finding the sledding tough up front early here in the ball game. Which is a bit surprising for me. Northern Illinois probably has Ball State up front man for man by about 35 to 40 pounds. Ball State's philosophy defensively is to have guys that can run around. Not necessarily big double gap kind of guys. The Lovey guys Smith that, philosophy. Exactly, guys that can run around. Morris drops back, looking, looking, throws, and misses his man. He did have a receiver, Marcus Lewis, out of Warren High School in Gurney, Illinois, open, but missed him, threw it short. Lovey Smith, the Bears coach, when he came in, Dick Duran liked the big 340-pound run suffers, the Ted Washingtons, the Keith Trailers, and Lovey said, no, that's not how we play. Brady Hoke, the same style. Smaller and quicker. Exactly. Football's copycat, though. When the Baltimore Ravens had those big guys and they won the national everybody every, copied. Uh, uh, Super Bowl, everybody copied it. Morris looking on third down. Pressured, and he is going down. And he will be sacked at the 14-yard line. So it is fourth down, and Dit Benner will punt into the win. Brandon Crawford was the man that got there, Bob. David, sacking the quarterback is want to. You just keep coming and coming. Leverage, leverage. No one to leap, no one to grab, no one to pull, no one to go after that quarterback. So he ha doesn't have the ability to get out of harm's way. Brandon Crawford, excellent job there. 6'3", 248 pounds. 248, not 265, not 270. Did better's punt. 
B.J. Hill is there. He's going to pick it up, and he will be knocked down at his own 45-yard line. So, again, excellent field position. John Tranchantella came over to make the hit, but great field position for Ball State on their second possession. David, field position, as you mentioned, is going to be critically, critically important in this football game because of the win and Northern Illinois' ability to run the football, to run the football, to keep the football out of Nate Davis's head. All right, Tyler Clasey, number 84, a freshman wide receiver from Champaign, Illinois, is the man that is Don that was injured on the punt. We'll be right back at Comcast Sports. They are set to take on Stephen F. Lumpson at 7 p.m. Show your... Give it to me, give it to me, one, two, three. Introducing Applebee's new Ultimate Trios. Great taste, great big portions, and a great price. Choose three from seven delicious options to create your ultimate flavor fest. Like our new 100% Angus Beef Mini Bacon Cheeseburgers. New crispy, plump, and spicy Dynamite Shrimp. And the new Flame Grilled Steak Quesadilla Tower. Ultimate Trios, Ultimate Platter at an unbeatable price. Only at Applebee's. Give it to me, give it to me, one, two, three. Game on. The home series is in full swing. And only Comcast Sportsnet brings you all the action on the ice in crystal clear high definition. November 30th, tune into Comcast Sportsnet for a special home game telecast as Patrick Kane, Jonathan James, and the Blackhawks take on Wayne Gretzky's Phoenix Coyotes at the United Center. It all starts November 30th at 7 with Chevy Blackhawks pregame live with Steve Conrad and Jim Blaney. Only on Comcast Sportsnet. Fans' best friend. Where is a fan's best friend online? ComcastSportsNet.com. It's the place to read analysis from Comcast Sportsnet experts that you can't find anywhere else. Get up to the second news headlines. See the day's programming lineup. Check out talent bios and watch video clips featuring the latest info on your teams. Plus, sign up for Sports Extra and Sports Blast email alerts that make you the first to know about breaking news. Log on right now to ComcastSportsNet.com. Fans best friend online. 9.06 left in the first. Ball State going on the attack. Is Jeff Garland the head coach now at Ball State? Doesn't Brady Hoke look like Jeff Garland, the star of Curb Your Enthusiasm? Brady Hoke is a throwback type football coach. And you know, David, coming from me, that's a high compliment. He and Joe Novak philosophically reflect each other. Brady's done a wonderful job building that Ball State program. Pressure, Davis looking and misses his man. Looking for Clancy coming out of the backfield. And that ball must have sailed just a bit, or he lost it in the sun. We do have, it was fairly bright when you and I were down in the field, but as it gets a little later, the lights are on now. You know, Brady Hoke came here as the associate head football coach at the University of Michigan under Coach Lloyd Carr. And a lot of the things that he does are the things that Coach Carr did while at Michigan. But you always have to be yourself. You always have to be yourself when you go from being an assistant to being a head football coach. Not try to emulate the personality of the man that you worked for in the past. Davis drops back. Looking, looking. Pressure throws incomplete. Looking again for Clancy. There is a flag in the backfield. That could be a hold coming up because there was a near sack there, Bob. Neither one of these two teams offensively are in any type of a rhythm. It's really been quite grab bag. No one's establishing the run. Late pass number 79 on the offense. 15-yard penalty, still second down. So they're going to get Andre Ramsey, the O tackle. Instead of calling it a hole, they're going to say illegal hands, a face mask on the far left. You'll Watch see the right there. Left. Here he comes, here he comes. Watch the reach. There it is right in there. Got his hands on the mask. We can't do that. I mean, you have to protect these quarterbacks. I mean, you're standing back there. You're so vulnerable. I like officials that protect quarterbacks. I don't think there's any question. I mean, you're standing back there, you know, standing tall and take a knee from you, throw a hand, whatever it is. You've got to protect the quarterback. So a second 25 now. Ball State going in reverse here. They'll hand it off to Clancy. He breaks a tackle, makes another man miss, and is knocked down at the 41-yard line. Mark Ryder, the strong safety from New Lenox, Illinois. David, you mentioned up, make the hit. breaking a tackle. Running back coaches, as well as inside linebacker and defensive back coaches, they use a term called hidden yardage. Hidden yardage for running back is great. That's the yardage he gains after the first contact. Hidden yardage for defenders is not good. That means the defender did not wrap up and take the running back down. Hidden yardage, remember that term, Cappy. You got it, buddy. Just like RAC, run after the catch. 
Davis looking, looking, steps up, still looking. Gonna throw, and it's got his man, Johnson's got it. Mark Ryder, one of the men that came up to make the hit was Lewis Johnson, a junior wide receiver who made the catch. Anthony Mason also there for Northern Illinois. Now, when you have a young guy like this that's athletic, okay, he's gonna go through his progression. Now he's under a little bit of duress. He starts to run, knows where he's at on the field, and give the receiver great credit for settling in the zone. Once your quarterback starts to scramble, you have to mirror him. If he slides to his right, you slide to your right. You left, right, either way, find that soft spot in the zone. First down for Ball State. They hand it off to Clancy, makes another man miss, and he gets absolutely belted at the end of the play. He's a little slow getting up. I mean, he got hot. You can see he's coming out. You know, Northern Illinois, the Northern Illinois front is getting penetration, but there comes that point in time after you penetrate into the secondary. Get to heels depth of the offensive lineman, break down shoulder square, become a linebacker. Don't stick an arm. You're not going to arm tackle these Division I backs that Ball State has. Second and four at the Northern Illinois 31. Frank Edmonds is now in for Clancy at tailback for Ball State. And he is tripped up. I think it was Tranchatella came over and made the tackle. And it'll bring up a third down. Watch this tackle. Uh, watch the tackle, but watch this play. This is a great example of a stretch play. Zone blocking. Everybody steps in unison in the same direction. He looks for a spot there. Tranchatella gets a little bit of penetration, makes a good read, comes up and makes the tackle. You know from doing games in the past at Northern, I'm high on Tranchatella. You love Tranchatella. I love the kid. Davis looks, throws, dumps, and it's incomplete. Grant had it in his hands, and I believe it was Bradley Pruitt came over and really belted him, and that ball popped free. This is one of these hello hits, okay? Granted, he has his back to defender, he turns up field, bam him. That could have actually been helmet to helmet contact right there. Could have been. You could tell the wide receiver knew he was about to get belted. That's when he comes back to the huddle. He says, Nate, don't do that to me. Pump and go. Fourth down, so Ball State says we will go at the Northern Illinois 30. A little surprising as their kicker was routinely making this in the pregame warm-up. Davis looking, looking, pressure, running. Can he find a receiver? Goes down the field and misses everyone in the back of the end zone. And Northern Illinois holds and they will take over. Surprised Brady Hook didn't kick the field goal there? What surprises me is that was play action. That's what surprised me, really. There was no need for play action. You're not gonna, you're not gonna fool anybody. You're not gonna throw the football here. Watch this. Play action, good job by, by the back with the block. Now he starts to scramble. Mirror him, mirror him. Don't wait for the football. Nice job of throwing the ball away. You know, that doesn't look like a big deal, but it was like the play before on fourth down, or third down, where he went down and fell on the football rather than trying to pick it up and perhaps cause a fumble. Perceptive play. Absolutely. This young guy's a bright, bright quarterback. Brandon Bice was the man who was hot on his trail for a sack, but he was able to throw it out of the back of the end zone. Northern has it, Justin Anderson. Picks his way, Hayes and Dorella came over. Haynes and Dorella made the hit. You know, scat rut pulled from the backside. That back has to take that block, take his path up inside the trap block, not to the outside of the trap block. That trap block comes, you have to be a little bit patient, a little bit patient. Let that defense express itself. Boom, you get the trap block, single. You run right up inside of it, not to the outside of it, because actually what happens then, the guard is blocking the defender in the direction that you're going. David Bryant now in at tailback for Northern Illinois on a second and eight. Huskies have struggled to run it. Ryan Morris looks, throws, finds his man, his big tight end, rumbling up the sideline before he steps out. Brandon Davis Brandon made the Davis. catch, and that will move the chains and be a Northern Illinois first down. I like this call. It's a safe call. It gives Ryan an opportunity to have success. There's, it's not a, a far throw, but at the same time, it, it's a very, very easy throw. It's almost like an elongated handoff. Now you start to build and get into the actual, the maturation of a quarterback during the course of the game. Morris looking, looking, pressured, he's got a lot of time, still looking, goes down the field and finds his man, Matt Simon. Simon makes the catch, runs out of bounds. And credit this one to those five big guys up front. He had an awful, 
a lot of time. He had a lot of time to throw the ball. And you get a heady receiver. He's going to come across the field. Look at here. This is w well beyond the four seconds that you like to have in a pass situation. But watch him. Look at his vision. Look at his vision. Great job by that uh, wide receiver finding the soft spot yet again in the zone, taking the ball upfield. That's a real good throw. It's too. a good throw, and it's a very good throw. Look at run. all the white jerseys right there. David Bryant takes it on first and 10, and it will be second and nine and three quarters. The Husky running game has struggled so far. Well, it should. It really should. We've seen this uh, a great job by this offensive line coached by Coach Etheridge. I mean, the last game we did up here against uh, Kent State, we made them the, the offensive line, the, the players of the game. Just start to bring it, a little bit of rhythm. Once you, you, you run, you throw, you run, you throw, you really never get into that rhythm of running the football. They have to ha hold on to football, keep Ball State's offense off the field. Justin Anderson back in at tailback. Morris is going to throw, and that ball will be dropped by Britt Davis. He has right to make this catch. This is a timing. This is a timing route, a quick slant, and again another opportunity for Ryan Morris to throw the football upfield with a safe throw. Here he is, three-step drop, good velocity on the ball. See his head go upfield just a bit. How many times have you heard me say this? David, you don't catch the ball with, with your, your eyes. You're exactly right. You catch the football with your eyes. It's concentration, it's focus, and then bringing the football into your midsection. Third and nine for the Huskies in Ball State territory. Morris, pressure, gets rid of it, throws, and it's incomplete. He was looking for Greg Turner, but he was hit as he threw. Bryant Haynes was one of the men with the pressure. Okay, if, if, you're, if you're Ball State defensively, you've got a young quarterback who hasn't played an awful lot. It's going to be blitz, blitz, blitz. Until he adjusts those blitzes and makes what we call sight adjustments and throws the football immediately to the area where the defender blitz to a wide receiver who makes that sight adjustment, then he'll be on his way. Did better to punt it away. And they're going to throw the football, and Northern Illinois is going to be very close to a first down, and I think they got it. Anthony Mason made the catch, and I think that will be a Husky first down. The question will be this, David. Is it a catch? Not whether it's a first down. Is it a catch? Let's get a look. I think he caught the football, Bob, but we will find out. Very surprising call by Joe Novak at this point. Oh, it was a catch. Let's see if we can look at this great camera work by our guys. That doesn't tell anything different. Yeah, he made the catch. No question well, about it. Exactly. Pretty Hoke would be challenging if it, if it weren't. Gutty call. Very gutty call. Ten-yard gain. Move the sticks. Move Northern the st Illinois is on the attack. Not only move the sticks, but keep Nate Davis off the field. As long as Nate Davis is a spectator, as long as he's a spectator, I'm not surprised. The question is, will there be a camera angle to be able to see it? it uh, both, both angles we saw earlier indicated that it was a catch. One of the things with the review, people ask me, do I like the review, don't like the review? I like the review if it's done in a timely fashion. Well, let's take a look at it. This is exactly what the officials will see. There's the throw. There's the toss. There's no evidence right there that it's not a catch from that particular angle. Trey Lewis blocked the view. Here it is again. I don't think this is going to change the call. It has to be indisputable evidence. Let's see what we've got here. I think he's got the football. I think it he caught it. It looks like his hands are under the ball and he's cradling the football. I don't think there's any evidence that this is not a catch. And you can tell the wind is very much a factor coming into the face of Dit Benner. So when he made the throw. And he threw it like a punter. He <laughs> threw it like a punter. It died in the air, and Mason had to come back to get it. I mean, you watch Brady Hope coach, and you think of some, some of the great Mac coaches in the past. Here's a guy back at his alma mater. There are 18 coaches in Division One football who coached or head coaches at their alma mater. Who are they? 18 Time's up. <laughs> Charlie Weiss. <laughs> See, he's wild. You're exactly right. Brady Hoke. Brady Hoke. 
Boy, I'd have to really think about this and go through it. Carl Durrell and UCLA. Yes, we're to the pretty good, huh? Absolutely. You're doing pretty good there, Cap. Brady says, wait a second. I like a coach that's engaging with his players on the sideline. Here's another look. One more time. What have we got here? His hands are under the football. I think this is a catch. I completely agree. I, if I were Brady Hulk, I'd ask also. I think it's a good call. You lose a timeout. It's the first half. There's nothing here. I don't think that there's evidence. That the play will stand as I see it. After the view, they stand. He's called on the field. Completed catch. First down, Northern. Husky faithful, happy with that result. And they will have the ball. First and 10 at the Ball State 28-yard line. A little bit of a running game going here, and it single, little screen pass, David, running the end zone with the football. Justin Anderson is back in at tailback. Morris fakes, looking, pressure, throws, and this is his man. Matt Simon had to come back for the football and missed it. Ryan Morris waited just a little too long. He started to go through his progression, but you know, it, I think it was it was fairly evident that that he, he had a man that he could have thrown the football to. Remini, but you know, this is going to take. He's growing up through the course of this football game. Remember, this young guy came here as a walk-on and earned himself a grant and aid, a scholarship. Set your feet, young man. Don't wait. He's there. No need to rush the throw of that football. Justin Anderson missed the block though, and that forced I think Morris to just give it up just a little quick. Morris looking, looking, throws, finds his man. Britt Davis has it. He'll be dragged down right at the 20 yard line. B.J. Hill made the tackle. All right, we talked about Joe Novak's guys, Ryan Morris. After we see this replay, I'm gonna talk just a little bit about him and his background. All right, here, selling the deep route, breaking it off, coming back with the football, puts the ball in the firearm. That, my friends, is a well-coached wide receiver. Came back for the ball as he took off upfield with yards after catch, put the ball in his firearm. Excuse me, the arm closest to the sideline. The firearm from the defender. Morris hands it to Justin Anderson. He makes one man miss, keeps the feet moving, and that will be enough for a Northern Illinois first down. Let's go to Kenny McReynolds for an injury update. And guys, the injuries continue to mount for the Huskies wide receiver, Tyler Classy. Well, he's out now with a left uh, quad contusion. He's in a lot of pain here on the sidelines. His return is doubtful, David. Justin Anderson is the guy hobbling off the field, I believe. See if he's okay. He is headed right to the training table. He will take a seat, the trainer will come over. We do have a penalty marker here on the play. David Bryant is back in at tailback with Anderson being attended to on the this Northern will, Illinois sideline. This will be a holding call as indicated by holding the- Holding on the offense, number 60. 10 yard penalty to the spot of the foul. Still first down. John Brost, the man nailed on the hold. So it will move the football back to the Northern Illinois, excuse me, to the Ball State 24 yard line. You know, you mentioned Ryan Morris. We mentioned the type of young men Joe Novak recruits. West Chicago High School, okay? Carroll Stream, Illinois. High school captain, MVP, four years on the honor roll, 3.0 GPA in finance at Northern Illinois. Pretty good. Okay. Pretty good. Good for him. Morris looking, looking, throws. Britt Davis cannot make the catch. David, the most difficult throw for a quarterback is the out route to the far hash. In other words, this is where a quarterback really has to show his arm strength and accuracy. It is basically the longest intermediate route or short route that you would throw. I would have liked to see just a little bit of more of, a, of an adjustment to the football on the part of Britt Davis. I thought that ball was catchable. The out to the far hash, tough throw. Second and 21 at the Ball State 24 yard line. Simon the man in motion. Single back set, fake to David Bryant, Ryan Morris. There's the screen you talked about, Bob. 
Bryant catches it and will be knocked down inside the 20, right around the 18 or 17 yard line. Amara Karoma was the man who made the hit. The most difficult play in football to orchestrate, I use the term choreograph, because you're asking big guys, all five of them, to block in space. You're asking them to act as though, initially act as though they've missed their block. Now go find an individual that you're assigned to. Tough play, I like the call there. Morris, pressure, blitz coming, he's hit as he throws, and it is incomplete. Flag flying, pass interference, I believe, on Ball State. It was intended for Davis, and I think that they are going to get Trey Lewis, the junior cornerback, on a pass interference, but we will wait for official word. Great. Pass interference on the defense, number 12. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Great job by Ryan Morris, having the composure for a young guy, knowing he was under duress and getting the football thrown just where it needs to be thrown. It was interference. Now look, the high point. David, this becomes a jump ball. It's anybody's ball. Up in the air, oh, yes sir. That is No doubt deep. about it. I exactly. Without the pass interference, that's a catch and a touchdown. Again, Ryan Morris, great presence. Some quarterbacks, even young guys that haven't been around enough, you start, you don't see that guy behind you, but you start to get a feel for him. Justin Anderson back in at tailback. First and goal, Northern Illinois at the Ball State three. Justin Anderson and nearly dropped the football. And I believe his leg started to cramp up right there. He there is down, absolutely. He He's took the handoff and went right down in a heap. Exactly, there was a crease, there was a seam. Without that injury, without the cramp, without the pull, whatever it is, he's walking into the end zone. Watch the, the offensive line. Watch the offensive line to the right of your screen. Bang, bang, there's the crease right there. But he couldn't accelerate to the crease. One man to beat. All right, we're gonna take a timeout while they attend to Justin Anderson on the Northern Illinois end of the field. The training staff is out. Joe Novak will check on his star running back when we come back. It's our pride in the red, white, and blue. It's our commitment that always comes shining through. It's everything that you need. Always find what I need. You can get everything here. Always have good service. Got everything we needed. The hardest working people in America find value at Farm and Fleet. If only life were like an Apple vacation. Apple Vacation's unmatched service makes travel easy so you can experience the vacation of a lifetime, every time. Now take off for Ryu Santa Fe with some of your favorite Bears players. Seven nights from only $12.69.99. To book your trip, call today or visit applevacations.com slash bears. All right, welcome back into Brigham Field at Husky Stadium. They have helped Justin Anderson off the field. Let's go down to Kenny McReynolds. Yeah, Dave, real quickly, the last time Ball State had the football, Justin Anderson was over here on the sideline. They were trying to stretch him out. They were having trouble stretching him out. They even put him in front of the heater to loosen up that hamstring. I'll have a report once we find out what's wrong. All right, thank you, Kenny. Ryan Morse looking, looking, throws toward the end zone, looking for Matt Simon, and it is incomplete. It will bring up a third down. There may have been a little bit of a collision initially with the quarterback right there and the running back. I think that's exactly what happened. He may have gotten a D right in the quad. Exactly. But what had happened, at the very least, it disrupted the path of, to get into the end zone. Third and goal at the five. Ball stayed a three nothing lead. Morris, straight drop. Looking, looking to the end zone. It's got his man, Turner. Now will they call this a touchdown or not? I believe it's a catch, David. I believe it is a catch. 
It is a Northern Illinois touchdown is the first signal we are getting. Touchdown, Northern Illinois. Brady Hoke is out onto the field. He wants to know why that's a touchdown. Well, let's take a look and see if this is a good catch and a score. Basically, three deep routes and an under route. I think it's a catch. I think he had possession. I don't think they're going to go take a look at this. Good protection here. Good route. Under route. Has the ball. Has the ball. Bam, Owen gets hit. If that were out on the field, it would be a fumble. It broke the plane of the, uh, of the end zone. Therefore, it is a touchdown. Alex Knipp was the man who came in and made the hit. But the extra point sails through the uprights. Five-yard TD pass. Morris to Greg Turner. And it is 7-3, Northern Illinois. There's P.J. Fleck, very fine. Former wide receiver, now doing a great job coaching well wide receivers ball, here. Well-thrown ball, right on the money, brings the football into his midsection, takes a couple of steps, which is critical, and then gets hit and lets the football go. Good job on the hit by Knipp. Unfortunately for Ball State, just a little bit too late. P.J.'s telling him, hey, look, grab that football, put it into your midsection. After you catch the ball, you become a running back. You're a tight end. After you catch the ball, you become a what? Fullback. Very good. Well, a very famous coach told me that you catch the ball with your eyes. And, and a very famous player told you you catch the ball with your Tommy eyes. Tommy Watt. Your old partner on WGN Radio. Can Tommy I say Waddle. that? Absolutely. <laughs> Tom Waddle. Boston College, the Chicago Bears. The NIU Alumni Association scoring drive, 15 plays, 70 yards. It took just over five minutes off the clock, and the Huskies on top 7-3. Dante Love is the deep man for the Ball State Cardinals here as Chris Nendick will kick off. Five minutes, five minutes that the Ball State Cardinal offense was on the bench. Deep kick into the wind. Dante Love is going to down it right there. My friends, you talk about leg strength. Into, into the wind. wind. How in about that? Now remember one thing. You always talk when you talk about uh, you coach drops or you co coach wide receivers in that. That is basically about two and a half to three yards are the bottom of the letter of the numbers. Okay, the excuse me, the bottom bottom of the letters. Huskies, whether it says Huskies, whether it says Cardinals, or whatever. That's just about three yards. Always know the ball was kicked three yards into the end zone. Great marking point for linebackers, pass drops, a lot of things. You learn something every day when you listen to Bob Kamel. Hand off to Clancy. He makes a man miss. And finally, a gang of red shirts led by John Tranchatella and Bradley Pruitt dragged him down. Boy, that guy may not be the fastest guy. Clancy, man, he's strong. Well, place, there's a thing that I think pro scouts really need to look at more of than, than, than what they actually do. There is a what you call playing speed or contact speed or want to speed. You can't put a clock on it, okay? It's, it basically comes from the heart. And you want a guy, what I call a want to guy, wants to make a play on every on, uh, on every play. Clancy 6'2", 221, a junior. Nate Davis looking, he's going down the field and a man wide open. A huge gainer for Nate Davis and Ball State. A huge play for Lewis Johnson. Made the catch and is knocked down at the 20, but he was as open as you can be. This had to be a busted coverage, but give Nate Davis a lot of credit for the presence that he has here, the vision he has here. Sets his feet, evades the rush, throws the ball basically off of his back foot. Throws the ball off of his back foot, but you know what that tells you? He has great arm strength because most guys to be able to throw the football that far have to plant, set, get the arm up, and throw the ball. He just flipped it down there. A 53-yard gain for the Ball State Cardinals, and they're in business. Boy, this kid Davis can really play. Fires to the end zone, and it is knocked away. A big hit, and now there's going to be a taunting penalty on Northern Illinois' Spencer Williamson. Absolutely a foolish penalty, Bob. Trust me when I tell you, Joe Novak, these are the types of penalties that really irk a football coach, and especially the type of football coach, Joe Novak, discipline, hard work, you know, don't bring any attention to yourself, play team defense. That is one, that is one that hurts. Again, Nate Davis, what great arm strength, David. I mean, he has, uh, this young guy has a big time, big time arm. 
Beller, Ohio. There's Beller, two Ohio fouls school. on the play. Illegal formation on the offense. Six men on the line. Dead ball. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Number 26 on the defense. We'll go five yards, then half the distance to the goal. Second down. Yeah, it's 27. There is no 26 on the Northern Illinois roster. So Spencer Williamson was the man who got that infraction. There's the hit. Now you made the play to get up and taunt over the top of him is exactly what the rule was written for, and that's why he got nailed. A bit surprising that Joe didn't pull him out of the game immediately. I've seen Joe do that now. I've seen Coach Novak do that. You know, you have that type of an infraction. Because you know what, what it is, it, it, and, I, and I'm not trying to, you know, kind of get after this young guy a little bit or anything. It's selfish. You're right. He had an illegal formation, and instead now, as the clock ticks down on the end of the quarter, and that will be the final play of the quarter. So we will change ends. Ball State finds themselves knocking on the door, but trailing the Northern Illinois Huskies. It's Northern Illinois seven and Ball State three. We have played 15 minutes here at Brigham Field in DeKalb, Illinois. I got a good one going. Team up with the Huskies. Join the Husky Athletic Scholarship Fund today, where your financial support assists in providing a world-class academic and athletic experience for 488 student athletes. 54 Crescida Academic All-Americans. Highest department GPA in the history of NAU Athletics. Mac West champions in football and men's basketball. We can't reach our goal without the help of the Husky Athletic Scholarship Fund members. Call 815-753-1923 for information on joining the HASF. LASIK eye surgery for $39 a month? Yes, you can. Now choose LASIK eye surgery at the Hauser Ross Eye Institute for only $39 a month or 18 easy monthly payments with no interest. That's right. Affordable payment options make freedom from glasses and contacts closer than ever. For only $39 a month or 18 easy payments, experience what thousands already know. If you've ever thought about seeing life without glasses or contacts, then now's the time to discover Hauser Ross. LASIK eye surgery at the Hauser Ross Eye Institute. Now affordable as ever. Call 1-800-CHECKUP today. I am so busted. They're asleep. Cut the lights. Who's counting on your brakes today? Your brakes are too important to trust to just anyone. That's why more people get theirs done at Midas. Almost two million last year alone. Be safe. Trust the Midas touch. We are ready for the second quarter of action. The Northern Illinois Huskies, a 7-3 lead over Ball State. Down to Kenny McReynolds for another injury update. Well, David, Justin Anderson's season has just come to an early end. He just walked by me. He told me it's his right knee he's done for the game, which means he's done for the season. He had a tear in his eye. You know, he's a thousand yard rusher. He's very upset. He's in a lot of pain. His season is done, David. Yeah, we see him heading into the Jordan Center where the training facilities are. So uh, very sad to see as he walks off the field and enjoy watching that young man play. Dante Love makes the catch and there goes Justin Anderson accompanied by one of the members of the training staff. So his season ends a bit prematurely, Bobby. David, we've mentioned so many times that we've gone through this broadcast, basically from the very first kickoff of the opening game against Southern Illinois, this training staff at Northern Illinois and the medical uh, staff has been very, very busy, unfortunately, this year. Davis looking to the end zone, touchdown. Hill makes the catch. Darius Hill, the touchdown, and Ball State reclaims the lead. It is 9-3 with the PAT on its way. Well-conceived play, great protection, great route by Darius Hill, good vision by Nate Davis, goes through his progression, throws the football exactly where it needs to be thrown, away from the defender. You know, Stuart Mandel from uh, Sports Illustrated writes this, these, uh, these deals. Best players no one has ever heard of. Darius Hill is one of those on his list. A good player, but I really like the quarterback. Boy, this kid can play. Extra point sails off the scoreboard, and it is 10 to 7. David Letterman would be proud of Mr. Hill. That's exactly right. David Letterman, David of course, Letterman. a graduate of Ball State University. So there is Mr. Darius Hill. There is Brady Hope, the Jeff Garland look-alike. Doesn't he look like him? 
David, this may shock you. I do not know who Jeff Garland is. My God. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Do you ever watch the show Curb Your Enthusiasm? Nope. Never, I've never seen the show. I may watch it now. Maybe it is Brady. Go online. Do you know what a computer is? Yes, I do, and I know how to Google. There you go. Google Jeff Garland and tell me he doesn't look like his twin brother. You know, before you start telling people that people look like other people, you have to assume that I would know. I don't watch a lot of television. I either watch Comcast, Mid-American Football, or I read. You are just ridiculous. Evans and Donis and Patrick George are deep for Northern Illinois. By the way, Jeff Garland emceed the Chicago Emmys the other day. That one will roll into the end zone and be down right there by Evans and Donis. Northern Illinois will go on the attack, going downwind now. Starting at their own 20, trailing 10-7. to 14-33 right. left in the second. All right, I'll bite. Where were the Chicago Emmys, and did you get one? I did not get one. Then I, I have to say that I probably I'm glad I didn't watch. Very good, Bob. You are just a loyal friend, buddy. And the Chicago guy. you think I'd have had a vote. Right. You're a Chicago guy. I would have voted for you. You would have had two votes. You have to get nominated first. Didn't even reach that part of it. Ryan Morris, play action. Looking, looking, he's got time, and now the time is gone. He is sacked in the center of the flag flying. In the area of a holding call. Yes, no question. Gonzalo Baranaga. Second down, an illegal block. John Brost. Chop block. Gonzalo Baranaga from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Marquette High School, a 3 6 GPA in pre med. Very good. Outstanding high school, football wise as well as academics. Morris looking, looking, throws, and finds his way to the big tight end. Brandon Davis makes the catch. Take a look, Bob, coming right into everyone's living room. I like Brandon Davis. I coach tight ends. This is a big, athletic young guy, has great hands, good concentration, good focus. Look, look, his eyes were on the ball all the way from when he very first made contact. When hands met leather and right down into his midsection and covered the football. Well, coach guy. That should be the title of your life story. When okay, hands yeah. met leather. Coaching tight ends by Bob Cannell. Available now in a bookstore near you. Third and 15. Morris. Pressured. Throws. And it is intercepted. Right off the hands of David Bryant. And Haynes stepped up and made the easy pick. Brian Haynes with the interception. Bob, those are game changers right there. Well, when you, if you run to the football, if you're a defender and you run to the football, something good is going to happen. First of all, the ball should have been caught. Second of all, now the defender becomes what? He becomes the wide receiver. Great focus, great concentration. Brian Haynes, nice play, young man. Frank Edmonds is in it, tailback for Ball State. Davis, straight drop, looking. Hit as he throws, and the pass is incomplete. He was knocked down. You ready for a little bit of trivia? Absolutely. Uh, by the way, it was Alex Crutch, the man who hit him. Brian Haynes is from Pickwell High School in Pickwell, Ohio. I once recruited a middle guard, Antoine Jones, out of Pickwell High School. What famous singing group, older I might add just a little bit, is from Pickle, Ohio? The Pretenders. The Mills Brothers. That was Todd Benjaminson's guess, our fine producer in the truck. Big gainer for Ball State, one of their rare running plays, but Frank Edmonds had a huge hole. Here is the great thing about this run. 
A lot of young running backs will take the ball single. Watch the patience. He's cruising. Set, choke, choke your ball down, make the cut. Nice job. We're going to see a little bit of another look at this, but watch, watch again the patience. Watch the patience. He's reading the blocks. He's cutting off the blocks. Good pad level. Leans forward yet for another couple of yards. Picked up 12, and it's a first and goal at the NIU 8. Hand off again, and this one will find Pater. No signal yet. It looked like he was into the end zone. They may mark him just short. I mean, you talk about great offensive line play. I mean, there was a pad on a pad. There was a lateral crease in this defense. Look at that. David, you could have run through that. Eh, maybe. But you know what? When you get a, a good back, give him the football again. Give him the football again. You see great tailbacks at the end of the game. They look stronger than they did in the first quarter. Edmonds, the single back set. Davis keeps it, Davis pushes. He is into the end zone, touchdown, Ball State. A PAT away from a 10 point lead. The Cardinals have found the end zone off of the interception and that one will go on Ryan Morris's ledger, but it shouldn't. David Bryant just took his eye off the ball, an easy pick on the tip and now Ball State punches it in. Well, here it is. When you get inside the one-yard line, it's all about leverage. Your offensive linemen have to be pad under pad on the defensive linemen, and, or your defensive linemen to defend it have to be pad under pad on the offensive linemen. It's leverage down there. Nice job. Extra point, sails through. Four plays, 20 yards, took a buck 21. Ball State 17, Northern Illinois 7. We'll be back to DeKalb after this. It's our pride in the red, white, and blue. It's our commitment that always comes shining through. It's everything that you need. Always find what I need. You can get everything here. Always have good service. Got everything we needed. The hardest working people in America find value at Farm and Fleet. Jewel. It's the fresh way we trim, slice, serve, the fresh way we grind, prepare, fish. It's offering the freshest variety, the best poultry, beef, pork, seafood that's oh so fresh, and help from our experts in store. Top quality, great service, all fresh to your family from Jewel. David Kaplan, Bob Kamel, and Kenny McReynolds is patrolling the sidelines. We are in DeKalb, Illinois. The scene is at Brigham Field at Husky Stadium. The final football game for Northern Illinois. There's a look at the very fine head coach at Ball State, Brady Hoke. Spent a stint at Michigan as an assistant. He's a Ball State grad, was a fine football player there, and has really done a nice job turning around the Ball State program. A win today, and they could be bowling a little bit later on. And David, keep in mind, most of the young guys on the Ball State roster you'll see back next year. Evans Adonis finds a crease. Evans Adonis stays on his feet and brings it out all the way to the Northern Illinois 47-yard line. Brandon Carnegie, one of the men that ran him out of bounds, but a big return, and the Huskies go on the attack with excellent field position. You know, a great example of good special teams play. Watch them line up. They start the first ball. They get a hat on a hat. Yet again, another hat on a hat. He sees that crease. He takes the crease and goes upfield with the football. Orchestrating a return, whether it's a punt return or a kickoff return by special teams coaches, is very, very good, good, solid coaching work. David Bryant, and he got such a big hole that he stumbled through it. Freddie Keebler, the turf elf, tripped him up. Well, sometimes as a running back, you see that big gash in the defense, and you can't stand prosperity. Hey, this guy was a linebacker in high school. You're a running back, you play with a linebacker mentality. Whoa, great job by the right side of the Northern Illinois offensive line, collapsing 
the right side of the Ball State defensive line. That's more like it as far as offensive line play from Northern Illinois. Bryant, this time he will be bottled up. And it will bring up a third and about a yard and a half, Bob. Third and a buck and a half. Do you run the football here or do you throw the football? I, run, I get Ryan Morris out on the flat and give him a run throw option. Excuse, yes, a run throw option. I get him out on the flat. Pump the football a couple of times. If they come up, throw it. If they sit back, run with it. Roll them out, little boot action perhaps. David Bryant, and he is going nowhere. He goes absolutely nowhere. It's going to bring up a fourth down situation. Mike Garula with the tackle. This linebacker, Mike Garula, uh, six feet, 216 pounds for a Division no I inside Garula. linebacker. Not a real big guy, but very active. Crowd doesn't like it, but Joe Novak says we're punting the football There's away. There's no doubt about it. Field position is critically important. And so you force Ball State to have to go down the field into the win. Exactly. B.J. Hill, the deep man for Ball State. Andy Dittbetter is in again to punt. One for one on a completed pass today. This time, he will punt the football away. This one is going to be caught at the 12-yard line. Ball State. We'll have 88 to go, but they've got possession leading by 10. 9.43 left in the second quarter in DeKalb. The verdict is in. The College of Law at Northern Illinois University is one of the nation's most respected law schools. At NIU Law, top students are part of a tight-knit, dynamic, and diverse learning community. Small classes give them unmatched access to some of the best legal scholars in the country, and state-of-the-art technology prepares them for today's courtrooms. Many NIU Law students even get hands-on legal practice before they graduate. That's why so many successful lawyers and judges hold degrees from the NIU College of Law. NIU Law. Discover the difference. Bulls basketball on Comcast Sportsnet. Every home game on that nice HD. The best pre and post game coverage. Wait, Bulls coverage on Sportsnet. Bulls basketball on Comcast Sportsnet. Comcast Sportsnet, fan best friend. Want the best local sports highlights? Got it! Out in the foul! Scores! Picture perfect! Need in-depth coverage of your team? We want to continue to build, continue to bring it every night. Pat Boyle and Mark Chanelski have you covered. All of Chicago sports highlights, news, and interviews. Everything you need to know about Chicago sports. Sports Night with Pat Boyle and Mark Chanelski. Every weeknight at 6.30 and 10, only on Comcast Sportsnet. A Chicago sports fan's best friend. Welcome back to DeKalb, Illinois. 17-7 at the 9.43 mark. Chris Clancy, who's listed as a backer as well, an outside linebacker, number 27. He is the tailback, though, for Ball State, and he rumbles for a gain of six, maybe seven. Spencer Williamson made the tackle. Here, what's critically important in the play calling here is quarterbacks in the huddle. Nate Davis is saying, look, the score is 17-7, nine minutes left. We're, we're down in the uh, basically in the red zone. Take care of the football. Protect the football. Two hands on the ball. Give it to a big guy. Rock him, sock him, guy like that. Comes up with seven yards. That's an excellent call by Brady Hoke and his staff. Frank Edmonds is back in now at tailback. You can see that Clancy is banged up a bit. Davis to Edmonds. Edmonds a huge hole. And he rips it all the way out to the 34-yard line. And that will be a Ball State first down. Justin Stewart, one of the men that made the tackle. But let me tell you something. This young man really showed a burst here, Bob. Well, he did. It's excellent blocking. And, you know, go, it, it, right there, one of the things that you see is uh, Madaris Grant, the wide receiver who's coming into trap. You don't have to have a knockout block. If you could get in front of the right guy, and let the back make a break off of the reaction of the defender, you've got a chance. Good burst, as you mentioned, David. And up this time, Edmonds is going nowhere. Knocked down at the line of scrimmage. DJ Perkle, 98, 
The big nose tackle came over and made the play, and that was a real good play. I mean, Ben sheds the block, keeps coming, brings his legs, and wraps up. You don't tackle at this level with your arms. You tackle with your entire body. You bring your legs. Outstanding nose guard play. You know, David, if, if I can revisit something, you know, Edmonds one of the, banged one of the up things here. We, well, we're seeing a lot of running backs go down today. Well, again, great tackle. Brian Haynes made the interception, and then Ball State was able to go into the end zone. When that interception is made on the bench, everybody's yelling, sudden change, sudden change. What does that mean? That means that we are going to challenge our offense to capitalize on the great defensive play that we made, and Ball State's offense did that. Dante Love, the wide receiver, now is lined up as the tailback. Davis looking, looking, throws, and he's got his man, but a host of red shirts there to drag him down. Mark Ryder, John Tranchatella, and a bunch of others. Darius Hill made the catch. Zach Larson, I think, was the first man in. I have a name, a, a name, for when you see eight, nine, 10, 11 defenders around the ball. It's the hallmark of any great defense, and it is called pursuit. And Denny Dornbos comes from the defensive school in Western Michigan as a GA at Michigan, where you preach pursuit, pursuit, and you achieve what you emphasize in football. Clancy is now back in at tailback. He's come out twice, looking like he's got an abdominal problem, favoring his ribcage area, but He's in, and that is a completed pass. Dante Love made the catch, but again, Nate Davis, what an arm this kid has. Not only an arm. Watch as he settles. Watch how fast his release is. The football barely goes back beyond uh, the, the, uh, the ear hole in the side of his Sing. And all that philosophy. Talk about a release in a strong arm. I'm, this young guy's a sophomore. He's got a lot of mid-American football ahead of him. This is the snap to Love, and this time to Davis. Go back to Love. Trickery from Ball State, and Love with great speed will be knocked out of bounds inside the 30. But Bobby, take us through this play. This was fun to watch. Well, first of all, Nate Davis threw the football behind, behind the ball, which made this a lateral, which gave Ball State the ability to throw the football yet again, okay? And now the ball's thrown back. Now we've got the big guys out in front, and it becomes almost like a punt return. A great job of chicanery there. I like that word. Chicanery by Brady Hoke and the Ball State Cardinals. Well-conceived play, well-executed play. Dante Love lined up as the tailback again. Davis, straight drop. Looking, hit as he throws, and it is incomplete. Big time pressure this time. Larry English, and we have not called his name yet today, but he's one of the best pass rushers in the country, and there is a flag on the play as well on the far sideline. Larry English, number 51, the consummate pass rusher. Dave the formation on the offense, number 79. Not on the line of scrimmage. Penalty Second down. I can't say enough about Larry English. I talked to Mike Sabach, 24-year veteran of Northern of Northern Illinois coaching staff. Mike, great guy, the recruiting coordinator. He said, Bobby, what you see on Saturday goes on from Monday to Friday. Great motor, Aurora, uh, Marmion, Again, honor roll guy, captain of his high school team, and on the Bronco Nagurski watch list. Lancey back in at tailback, so Brady Hope running his guys in and out at that tailback spot. Davis, straight drop, looks, looks, a lot of time. Finds his man Love coming out of the backfield. Love inside the 10, inside the five, knocked down at the three. Ball State knocking on the door of a 24-7 lead, and that's how you take a crowd out of it quickly. Well, David, credit the up-front guys from Ball State, the offensive linemen, an awful lot of time. The ball is just an under route across the formation, and now, as I mentioned before, he goes from being a receiver to being a running back. Excellent job. Northern Illinois, keep the football inside and in front of the defense. As long as you do that, you've got a chance. When the ball gets outside the perimeter of the defense, that's when big plays occur. 
26 yards the game. Here's the handoff to Clancy, picks his way and knocked down. It'll be a loss of a yard on the play. The defensive, the defensive front from Northern Illinois created a new front. They got good pressure. They were pad under pad. And basically what happens is all these big guys become linebackers. Watch the push that they get. And what happens is it redirects the back and buys time for the pursuit to come upfield. Josh Allen, really the man that made the tackle, Justin Stewart, was involved in the fray as well. It's the second and goal at the five, at the 520 mark. Josh Allen, North Chicago High School, team captain, team MVP, big weight room guy. Davis rolling, looking, pressured by Larry English, he's going down. A big time sack, you talk about strength. David, you just mentioned we haven't heard from Larry English, and on this series, he made two huge plays. This guy has a great motor. He never stops. Again, I mentioned being a one-two guy. What do I mean by that? Never give up. Keep fighting. Turn, fight, fight, scratch, kick. Whatever you can do, get to the quarterback. He is no match. He is no match for a wide receiver blocking him. He is so strong and so quick. This guy can play on, on Sunday, David. There's no doubt about it. To third and 15 now. Third and goal to 15. Pressure again. Throws, and it is knocked out of the back of the end zone. Real good defense out of Spencer Williamson. Tipped it away, and Ball State will have to settle for a field goal attempt. Excellent defensive play by Williams. Reads the eyes of the quarterback. Stays in a, in, in a disciplined type of drop. It's straight drop back. Then drives on the football and basically just gets a hand in there, and that's all it takes. Excellent job by that uh, young man. All right, field goal try for Ball State. Ian McGarvey, their kicker, just a freshman, got a really strong leg as we watched him warm up today. Snap, set, kick is no good. He David, pushes him. I, I don't think, it, David, uh, not to correct you, I don't think it was as much of a push as it was to win. Before the game, I saw him kicking field goals, and he was drawing the ball from right, right to left the way you do with a three win. Take a time out. Mine doesn't look that good. 419 left. Ball State by 10. Hey Husky fans, shop online for all the latest Husky merchandise at naubookstore.niu.edu. We carry the best brands, gear, Jansport, Russell, Vantage, Zephyr, and more. Shop any of our three locations, the Home Student Center, the Convocation Center, and our newest location at the Barcima Alumni and Visitor Center. Open three hours before game time for every home game. For the best Husky gear selection and prices, stop by today or shop online at niubookstore.niu.edu. That's niubookstore.niu.edu. If only life were like an Apple vacation. Apple Vacation's unmatched service makes travel easy so you can experience the vacation of a lifetime, every time. Now, book an all-inclusive vacation to Grand Palladium Bavaro Resort and Spa. Five nights from only $949.99. Visit America's favorite vacation company at applevacations.com. 17-7. Ball State over Northern Illinois at the 419 mark of the second quarter. Coming up at the half, Kenny McReynolds will chat with the very fine women's basketball coach here at Northern Illinois, Carol Owens. The Fatty's Pub Halftime Report, stats, highlights, and the interview. It's all coming up. And Ryan Morris is going downtown. Britt Davis, did he make the catch? I believe he did. Yes, he did. Outstanding grab, and Northern Illinois is in business at the Ball State 35. David, what a great call by Ray Roy Whitkey, the offensive coordinator and quarterback coach at Northern Illinois. First play from scrimmage after the a missed field goal. Here's, here it is, high point, high point. You're coaching the wide receivers to take the football at its highest point. It's a jump ball, David. You can relate to that in basketball. His timing is perfect. What a great catch, but you know what? Ryan Morris showed great arm strength. 45-yard gain. Huskies at business, David Bryant takes the handoff, makes a man miss, David Bryant into the secondary. 
and inside the 20 to the Ball State 17. David, the execution by the offensive line here, the big guys up front, blocking back, pulling, and trapping. There he is, David, number six, 65, Jason Anyebu Ego. What a block, a big guy blocking in space on a corner. That's not easy. David, you mentioned earlier what a fan I am of this young man. He is an outstanding offensive lineman. Morris gives it to David Bryant, picks his way. He is inside the 15, knocked down inside the 14 yard line. Bryant Haynes made the tackle. What, you know, the, that play that, or that set this up, you know, it was basically a flea flicker. It's going to be a handoff, okay, a toss to the quarterback, into the line of scrimmage, a toss back to the quarterback, sets his feet, throws the ball downfield. Good job up front with the blocking. The old flea flicker, David. Yeah, and that was not like, you know, you normally you see the three, four yard run, then toss it back. It was disguised beautifully. Well done. Play action. Morris looking, rolling, throws, and throws it away. I saw Didn't you throw that pass open. one time at Lakeshore Park over on Chicago in the drive one time. That flea flicker. Correct. Uh, absolutely. That's right. exactly hey, right. Let's talk Where about this Jason Anye Buago. On let's talk about Jason Anye Buago. My guy, Buaga, my guy. This cannot be too, too much fun for Ball State to watch this guy play this way, and I'll tell you why. He's from Warren Central High School in Indianapolis, Indiana. Right out outside Ball State's backyard. Morris, straight drop, dumps it for David Bryant, makes the catch, makes a man miss, driving, and he's got a Northern Illinois first down at the five. David, we've seen the momentum change radically here. That that flea flicker pass, not only was a great game, you know what it is, he gave that little shot of enthusiasm to the Huskies. Boy, they sold the deep pass upfield, a hat on a hat, a man on a man, doesn't take much. Great job here by number four. David Bryant leaning forward, good pad level, kept his feet moving. This guy was a linebacker, as I mentioned. Huskies before. 11th first down of the day. They hand it to David Bryant. Picks his way, and he is knocked down at the two. They may spot it at the three, we'll see. But either way, Northern Illinois has it. Second and goal inside the Ball State five. Watch Ryan Morris's body language right now. Look at him, he's a leader. He's, he, he, you can just see just a little bit, you know, that, just that little bit of a confident walk as you want. And the same thing with David Bryant. There he is right there. That, my friends, is a quarterback who is in charge. I got the call. Let's go, guys. Protect the football. Give me, give me just a little bit of a time. I'll get you in the end zone. Morris says, give me a timeout. Doesn't like what he sees. Timeout, Northern Illinois. That is their first charge timeout. I like it. That's a pr That was a prudent decision by this young man. I mean, you've got the football down there. You don't want to take any chances. This is a critical, critical drive. Let's take a look at the seniors on this Husky roster. Nine guys. They said goodbye to today in the pregame ceremony. This is their final game. And, of course, some really really good players, but probably the guy with the biggest future as a football player, Chris Acevedo, out of Lions Township. He'll play on Sunday. You know, he's, he's big, he's athletic, he loves to play the game. Uh, played for his, uh, his uncle, uh, Leo, who is an outstanding football coach. Excuse me, his uncle, Louie, who's an outstanding football coach at Curie High School on the south side of Chicago. Right, family that lives in Lyons, Illinois. A little Second bit of a commute, not bad. Not I'm bad. going there tonight. My stepson's Probably, playing uh, basketball had, at LT. He, he had MapQuest. He knew how to get the score. David Bryant knocked down inside the two. It'll be a third down and goal situation. All right, here. This is where I want to get Ryan Brandon Morris out on the, the perimeter. Tackle. A boot action. Fake one way, come out the other way with him pump a couple times, the defenders come up, dump the ball, they sit back, run it in. I mean, he's six feet two inches tall, 203 pounds. 
Third and goal from the two for the Huskies. Ball just inside the two. Third and goal. David Bryant, the single back set. They'll give it to him. Bryant picks his way. He's in the end zone. Give him six. Touchdown, Northern Illinois. In this play, we see fewer and fewer fullbacks, true fullbacks. What people do is use tight ends in motion as lead blockers. And basically, what happens is they become fullback. There's the motion. There's the motion. It's an isolation play. He looks for the linebacker. He gets the linebacker. David, that was number 88, Brandon Beal. Outstanding job of going from being a tight end to being a fullback on a lead block. Well executed play. Extra point, perfect. Right down the middle from Chris Nendek. It's a three point game with 48 seconds left. Here's another look at it. There Bob. he is, number 88. There he is, number eight. It doesn't take much. A hat on a hat and a little bit of a push, and then let Bryant make the cut. The NIU Alumni Association scoring drive, eight plays. 80 yards, it took 331. David Bryant finishes it with the touchdown rush. David said, I like this a lot better than being a linebacker. Absolutely. I mean, he's a big, strong kid. I mean, and, and, but, but you know what set it up was that flea flicker. As I mentioned before, obviously the ball was thrown 60 yards downfield, whatever, and it, and it was a huge play. But it just gives you that, that little push of enthusiasm. There was a whole, it was a whole nother football team that jumped out of that huddle after that play was successful. They've got some zip, they've got momentum, and, and you know, that really, I, I can't say what, enough about what the great call that was made there by Ray Whitkey, the first year uh, quarterback coach and offensive coordinator, came here from Arizona State University. Dante Love, the deep man for Ball State. As you saw a good shot of Joe Novak. And I've always said this, we've done their games for years. The best tribute you can pay to a coach is you want your son to play for him. He is just a class, class act. Short kick, the ball is loose. Football is loose on the field. And we'll see, I think Ball State got it back. They did. You know, it's cold and your hands get a little numb and all of a sudden you go, oh God, they're kicking it to me? Ball, he calls for a fair catch. Elbows in, elbows in. There's the fair catch. See, you want to cradle that. You don't want to catch that like an outfielder. You want both, both elbows in, palms up on that type of a on, on that type of a kick uh, 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 reception. That's Spain Cosby, and he's a middle linebacker. Well, you know, you practice that, though. He's got to be able to make that. He did cover the football, though, in defense of the drop there. Well, the drop can happen to anybody. Davis hands it off to Clancy. He'll be stacked up at the 33-yard line. Ball State in no hurry here, so that may end up being our final play of the half. They'll have to snap it one more time. In fact, they have not yet started the play clock, so that's going to be the final play of the first half. They will let the clock drip down, and Ball State will warm up in their locker room, Northern in theirs. But the Cardinals, a 17-14 lead over the Huskies, who showed some great life after that flea flicker play 45-yard gain to Britt Davis energize the offense. Well, we've got a real game on our hands. We mentioned early on, early on in the show, you know, Northern Illinois is not going to go to a bowl game. They've suffered so many injuries playing with so few uh, upperclassmen. Ball State had possibly a bowl bid if they win this football game. But as I told you before, there's a lot more at stake for Joe Novak right here. And, the, and the, you know Joe Novak, it's pride. And that's the way Joe Novak coaches. You mentioned earlier, David, if you have a son, you'd want him to play for Joe Novak. No, that's the most astute statement that you can make. All right, let's go down to Kenny McReynolds and Coach Novak. Well, Coach, that defensive stance at the far end really gave your offense a lot of momentum. We did. You know, we had the one interception, gave him the easy one. Other than that, we're hanging in there pretty good. Unfortunately, you lose Anderson for the game. Yeah, yeah he's. Uh, we've got a few guys nicked up, so we'll deal with it. Well, you take your team at halftime going in. You're only down by three. Hey, 30 more minutes of football with this group, so we've got to go out there and do our best. Okay, good luck, Coach. All right, David, back up to you. All right, thank you, Kenny. So there is Joe Novak as he talks about 
the first half. We will have highlights and stats from that first half, but first, Kenny McReynolds chats with Carol Owens, the women's basketball coach here. It's all coming up on the Fatty's Pub Halftime Report here on Comcast Sportsnet. Yeah, well, it's a pretty good job, isn't it, when you think about it? I mean, basically, I help people save money, don't I? Like, I tell people they can save hundreds by switching to GEICO. They go to GEICO.com, maybe save all this money on car insurance, and the next thing you know, I'm, like, invited to their wedding or whatever. One bloke actually asked me to be his best man. Dear, oh, dear. Anyway, look, don't matter. Look, the point is, if you want loads of friends, giving away money, it's not a bad idea. GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Casey's, it's all good. Casey's, it's all right. Casey's, we make it any way you like. Stop into Casey's General Store and get a 25 cent two liter with the purchase of any large pizza. Plus tax and deposit not valid with any other offer. Casey's General Store. Casey's, it's all. If ever you're not satisfied with one of our tires, please feel free to bring it back. Thank you. Discount Tire Company. Low prices, more choices on the world's best brands, like Michelin and BF Goodrich. What are you going to do? Let's go pick up a kid out of Jersey. How hard can it be, huh? Live free or die hard today. Did you see that? Yes, I thought I did it. Every night, only one show brings you closer to the teams that matter most. Sports Night on Comcast Sportsnet. Highlights of the games you care about. Breaking news that has Chicago talking. Interviews with the biggest names. And the time to tell in-depth stories. If you're a fan of Chicago sports, then this is your show. Sports Night, every night at 6.30, 10, and midnight, only on Comcast Sportsnet. Fans, best friend. Tonight, the circus road trip continues for the Hawks as they take on the Oilers in Edmonton. Coverage starts with Chevy Blackhawks pregame live. Blackhawks Oilers, tonight at 8.30 on Comcast Sportsnet. Fans, best friend. Every Monday, catch the Bears recap on Comcast Sportsnet. Hear what Lovey Smith has to say about the previous game and get a preview of the upcoming weekend's matchup. Don't miss Bears recap every Monday at 5, only on Comcast Sportsnet. Fans' best friend. Welcome back to DeKalb and the Fatties Halftime Show. I'm Kenny McReynolds here with Carol Owens, the ladies basketball coach here at Northern Illinois University. And, Coach, you just came in last night from Cancun. I would imagine the weather was a little bit nicer in Cancun. Well, there was a 60-degree difference. <laughs> it was about 80 degrees there. Beautiful, great tournament. Uh, didn't turn out uh, the way we wanted in a win-loss column, but I tell you, our team got better. As you know, we're very young, uh, and we uh, just got with some top 25 teams that, you know, showed our, our team what level that we we aspire to be to be as. And uh, as we go and get into the conference, uh, we want to move towards that goal each and every day. Now, I've had a chance to see your team play twice. I saw you play at Chicago State and here at home against Bradley. You played top 25 competition in Cancun. What can your young, young ladies learn from playing that great competition? Well, just the level of physical play um, that we haven't faced yet, uh, the intensity uh, of the game, uh, the height advantage that both teams had against us, uh, just to help us play at another level and help us play together as a team. Like I said, we have six new players uh, this year uh, coming uh, that are eligible to play and just trying to get them to gel together. And I think they did that, especially in the second game against Tulane, who's picked to win Conference USA. Uh, we felt like we, that game went down to the wire, and uh, we, we definitely were in a position to win that game, miss some free throws, um, some shots didn't go our way. But I think, in all in all, they know how well they can play uh, our our Jesse Wilcox was our junior point guard that was out pretty much the whole tournament for a hand injury, but our freshman kind of stepped up and gave us some quality minutes. Now the recruiting, the, the, I'm sorry, the recruiting period just ended, the early signing period just ended. Talk about the young ladies you signed, especially one superstar from Bogan in the Chicago public school system. And that
the Tanisha Wilson from Bogan High School. Uh, we're just really excited about her and what she can do. We, we only signed uh, one young lady uh, this fall because we have a transfer coming in, Marky Freeman, that'll be eligible to play next year. So uh, Tanisha Wilson is a gem. Uh, when she, you see her, she can, she's a combo guard that can play the point and play uh, the two fours, but she's exciting to watch. I know that they just beat Marshall high school uh yesterday or the day before uh in overtime and i think she believes she had like 35 points in that game so we're excited what's your recruiting philosophy do you recruit based on need or the skill level of the person you're trying to bring in here i think it's a little bit of both i think we look at kids um, not just for their skill level, but it will embrace the world-class experience that we're trying to bring here uh at northern and uh uh, she's just a special player. Tanisha's a special player that I think um, is just an all-around student, great student athlete. Uh, and I think all things come. I, I want kids that want to be here at, at NIU. Um, how they treat their parents, from uh, how they treat their siblings is important. And how they're uh, coachable on the floor, all those things matter. Skill alone uh, won't get you at NIU, but all the, all the uh, uh, intangibles do. And of course, you want to make sure they're great student athletes. You have the Jordan Center behind us with the great computer uh, room. You have the great academic support staff. I know that's very important to you and, of course, to Dr. Jim Phillips. Academics first. Ab absolutely. Academics uh, are first here. Uh, we've uh, gone like three or four years straight with the team GPA over 3.0, and we want to continue that. And that's why when we're on a, a away trips, we have a study table. <laughs> uh, uh, like you said, we have support. It's, it's hard to, to fail here. People around uh, this university want you to be successful. So I, I, that's the good thing about what NIU brings, it, not just the, the athleticism or the stuff that you do on the field or the court, but you know this facility and, and how it services our student athletes is so very important. Now, tomorrow in Chicago at UIC, what a big basketball game you have. You're going to take on the UIC Flames. Talk about this game, which I know is something you've really been looking forward to. Well, I think it's important we go back to Chicago again and uh, play the UIC Flames, who's they're a really good team. Um, they've gotten some size in the inside, but they, you know, they got some athleticism on the perimeter. And so we have to be ready. We have to be focused and, and really contain their players. Um, you know, uh, you know, I feel like our team is ready after coming off an experience that they've gone through this past weekend and Thanksgiving weekend that um, we can go in there and, and, and work hard and, and play to our best ability. Well, I know that the very tough uh, tournament out there in Cancun, but you only will get better when you play the best. Yes, you can only, that's the, that's what Jane Albright at NIU, when I, she was coaching me, said, if you want to be the best, you got to play some of the best uh, teams. And I believe that we have that on our schedule. We're in the Iowa uh, tournament uh, December 8th and 9th. And then we have DePaul coming here December 17th. Uh, a home game for us at the Convocation Center. We're looking forward to that. But all those are quality uh, programs that uh, we invite and we welcome the challenge. Uh, to, to help us get better for conference play. Okay, Carol, well, good luck in this season. I know you're going to do a great job here at NIU. You've done a great job since you've been here. Best of luck to you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, so that's Kenny talking to Carol Owens. We'll come back. Stats, highlights, and Bobby C's analysis. It's all coming up on Comcast Sports Net. NIU fans, when you enter the Village Commons bookstore, you're entering Husky territory. VCB is the official site for NIU athletics, featuring the new NIU logo on a wide range of hats, t-shirts, shorts, sweats, and NIU logo gifts and accessories. Whether you're a student, graduate, or a fan of NIU athletics, the Village Commons bookstore is your Husky headquarters. Visit us in DeKalb or call us toll free, 800-700-4868 or on the web at www.vcbs.com. Jewel, it's the fresh way we trim, slice, serve, the fresh way we grind, prepare, fish. It's offering the freshest variety, the best poultry, beef, pork, seafood that's oh so fresh, and help from our experts in store. Top quality, great service, all fresh to your family from Jewel. 
Advance your career with an MBA from Northern Illinois University. I was able to balance my MBA with my professional life as well as my personal life. And best of all, NIU's MBA program is AACSB accredited and affordable. I was impressed with the knowledge and experience of the professors, and the program provided me with a well-rounded business education. The affordability and convenient locations made my decision easy, and it made my MBA a reality. Designed for the working professional, the MBA program at Northern Illinois University. Jumpstart your career today. of comfort and power or something completely brand new the nissan rogue the savings are truly special like a 259 a month lease on pathfinder or 4500 total cash back on the armada and now through december 3rd get 500 dollars holiday bonus cash on most nissans see your nissan dealer now welcome back in here on our fatties pub halftime report david kaplan and bob Kamel with you at brigham field at husky stadium Got a good ball game going, Bob. Northern Illinois has fought their way back. David, you see Brady Hoke and Joe Novak. Uh, this football game reflects the philosophies of both of these coaches. Good, old-fashioned, solid, good tackling, good blocking, mid-American football. All right, let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Ball State was in command in this football game, but early on, Northern Illinois did a real nice job with their offense through the air. But here, Justin Anderson goes down, and he is done. Well, a critical injury here for Northern Illinois early in the game. Looks like it's a pull or a hamstring. But David Bryant, number four, the, the actual linebacker turned running back comes into the game. But what we see here through the course of this game is Ryan Morris, the maturation of a quarterback. And we, how much can you say about Nate Davis? This young guy is something special. His, the fortunes of this football team rise and fall on the arm of Nate Davis. Now we see right here, great job by Haynes, the outside linebacker. And now we have sudden change. In other words, you have intercepted the football. You're giving the football over to the other team. Can you stop him? No. Can we score? Yes. And then here's the flea flicker play that really ignited the Northern Illinois offensive engine. Make a play, Britt Davis, and he does. NIU went on to get a touchdown. Well, that play right there really gave Northern Illinois a, an unbelievable amount of enthusiasm just the way they came out of the huddle after that play. They started to build on that great play. Rushing yards, eh, not, not too much difference right there. Total yards is what you see here. 246 Ball State, 149 for Northern Illinois. First downs, pretty much the same. Time of possession, not bad. And all these stats indicate actually what the score is, 17 to 14. We've got ourselves a ball game. And again, two football teams that reflect old-fashioned rock'em, sock'em football and the personality of their coaches, Brady Hoke and Joe Novak. You know, and as Joe was telling Kenny McReynolds as he came off the field, he said, if not for the one pick, we're right there with this team. And, you know, it could be three points the other way, but you give up the tip pass. Bryant should have caught it. Haynes made the play, and they punched in on a very short game. Well, it's an important game. This is the last time nine of these Husky football players will play on Brigham Field and Husky Stadium. This means an awful lot to the, these young guys. Granted, Ball State's talking about perhaps going to a bowl game. But when pride's at stake, Joe Novak steps up. All right, now you see Ryan Morris with Dan Nicholson unavailable. Ryan Morris now, he knows it's his job. He is this guy who's gonna play the entire game. He's growing up. There's no doubt. Just his body language, the way, I mean, when he called that timeout, the way he looked to the sideline for that play, that wasn't a redshirt sophomore. That was a guy who went through a maturation within this particular game, and now distribution, a little dink here, throw the ball downfield there, go for the home run there, he's in charge, it's evident. And also when you look at different opportunities, David Bryant, Montel Clanton was the starter at the beginning of the year, blows out the ACL, Justin Anderson steps up, rushes for a thousand, and now with him out, David Bryant is running the ball very well. Well, I think that's, that's attitude, David, and you coach attitude, you achieve what you emphasize. David Bryant does not want these seniors here to leave this field 
nothing but victorious. And you could see that. And he's starting to build. He's getting a hot hand. You watch great running backs, tailbacks, fullbacks. The more often you give them the ball when they're on a roll, the better they Rhythm. get. Rhythm. Rhythm, there's no doubt. Now, you, when you look at Northern Illinois, one of your keys said they've got to control the line of scrimmage and have time of possession in their favor. It's a very even battle so far there. Well, you don't want the, the football in Nate Davis's hand. You know, we've heard this uh, uh, said so many times, the great best defense is a good offense. Keep the Ball State offense on the bench. They're volatile. They're lethal. If you can establish a running game, and I think that's what Joe Novak's going to talk about in the second second half, field position football, I think they'll be in a, a, have a great chance to win this football game. All right, should be a great second half. We will have the second half kick. It's all coming up, so stick around. Real good football game here in DeKalb on Comcast Sportsnet. Introducing Applebee's new Ultimate Trios. Great taste, great big portions, and a great price. Choose three from seven delicious options to create your ultimate flavor fest, like our new 100% Angus beef mini bacon cheeseburgers, new crispy, plump, and spicy dynamite shrimp, and the new flame-grilled steak quesadilla tower. Ultimate trios, ultimate platter at an unbeatable price. Only at Applebee's. Give it to me, give it to me, one, two, three. Yeah, well, it's a pretty good job, isn't it, when you think about it? I mean, basically, I help people save money, don't I? Like, I tell people they can save hundreds by switching to GEICO. They go to GEICO.com, maybe save all this money on car insurance, and the next thing you know, I'm, like, invited to their wedding or whatever. One bloke actually asked me to be his best man. Dear, oh, dear. Anyway, look, don't matter. Look, the point is, if you want loads of friends, giving away money, it's not a bad idea. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Team up with the Huskies. Join the Husky Athletic Scholarship Fund today, where your financial support assists in providing a world-class academic and athletic experience for 488 student-athletes. 54 Crescida Academic All-Americans. Highest department GPA in the history of NIU Athletics. Mac West champions in football and men's basketball. We can't reach our goals without the help of the Husky Athletic Scholarship Fund members. Call 815-753-1923 for information on joining the HASF. You've seen him judge the stylings of players on Bears Post Game Live. Now it's your turn to impress. Presenting the Jerry's Best Dress Vacation Sweepstakes. It's time to beat the winter blues and show Jerry Azuma you're the best dress vacationer. To enter, send a picture of yourself in your best vacation wear. The winner will qualify to win a vacation for two to the beautiful Rio Vallarta and Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, courtesy of Apple Vacations. For more details on how to enter, log on to ComcastSportsNet.com right now. Game on. The home series is in full swing. And only Comcast Sportsnet brings you all the action on the ice in crystal clear high definition. November 30th, tune into Comcast Sportsnet for a special home game telecast as Patrick Kane, Jonathan Tames, and the Blackhawks take on Wayne Gretzky's Phoenix Coyotes at the United Center. It all starts November 30th at 7 with Chevy Blackhawks pregame live with Steve Conrad and Jim Blaney. Only on Comcast Sportsnet. Fans best friend. We are back in DeKalb. Darkness has fallen over the stadium as we get ready for second half action. Let's take a look at our TCF Bank Mid American Conference scoreboard. Buffalo over Kent State in overtime, 30 to 23. Ohio gets by Miami, 38-29, and Western Michigan defends the home field. They beat Temple today, 16 to 3. Our Kenny McReynolds is standing by on the field with Ball State coach Brady Hope. Okay, thanks, David. Coach, what did you tell your team at halftime? Well, we just got to play together and keep playing hard, and good things will happen. I mean, this is a, a football game like most of them where everybody's going to compete like heck, and the team that makes the least amount of critical errors is going to win. Okay, good luck in the second half. Thank you, Kenny. Okay, David, back up to you. All right, thank you, Kenny Mack. So Brady Hoke, who played at Ball State, 1982 graduate of the Ball State football program and of the university, comes back and uh, has been there now a few years where he's had a chance, Bob, to recruit his kind of kids and get his own 
special quarterback, and he's got one in Nate Davis. Well, there's no question. David, one of the things that uh, Joe Novak coming off the field at the half, Brady Hoke going on the field, great example of two great guys who are also great football coaches, and you can't have it both ways. Very well put, Bob. A message to a lot of guys out there. Dante Love is the man deep. He's got the kick from Nendick. Makes a couple men miss. Cuts it back up. And Ball State goes on the attack at their own 25-yard line. So second half action now underway in DeKalb. 14-51 left. Hope you're enjoying the ball game here on Comcast Sportsnet. Thank you to our great crew all season long. They've been outstanding. Katie Hine up here who is our excellent, what do we call her, our floor director, and Hollywood Todd Armour, our spotter, and Todd Benjaminson, just the whole crew throughout the season, they've been great. Ball State stays on the ground. Ray Winkler, freshman running back out of South Bend, Indiana. You know, what, what you're gonna see here in the second half, I don't think that the adjustments are gonna be radical. I think we'll see a little bit of a change in some of the original nuances of, of, of some of the plays, but I think you're gonna see the same type of rock'em, sock'em football, and as Coach Oak mentioned, this is gonna to come to the second half. Who wants to win this football game? But I'll tell you, it's gonna be one on technique, blocking and tackling, trite as it may sound. Play action. Nate Davis looking, he's going down the field, and it is incomplete. Ball State looking for a flag, looking for a pass interference. Brady Hoke not happy at all. There's no, inter there's no interference here. This is inadvertent contact, unintentional and inadvertent. They basically uh, locked legs there for a, a, a brief second. Quite sure I agree with you on that one, Coach. That was... That's why I'm not an official. <laughs> Nor do I ever want to be one. <laughs> that was dicey at best. Brady Hoke went running down, and he's a rather big man. He was not happy. Davis, straight drop. Looking, looking. Perkle nearly had him. He evades another man, throws back across the field, and finds his man. And that will be enough to move the chains for a Ball State first down. Dante Love again makes a play. One of the problems that Northern Illinois has had defensively is containing Nate Davis in the pocket. The pocket collapses, but no one has contained. He gets out on the out on the flat, and he is a, a, a double threat. He can run the ball or throw or or, or, or throw the football as he did. The one thing I didn't like here, he threw the ball across his body. Zach Larson comes up out of his drop, makes a good tackle. Well, you could hear that pop all over the stadium. Yes, you could. Football may have come loose. I think Northern Illinois may have just recovered a Winkler fumble. We will find out. Mark Ryder may be the man with the football at the bottom of that pile. And Ball State keeps it. Winkler with the fumble on the play recovered by Ball State. You know, I, 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 this young man has shown great vision throughout the game, but right here somehow, well, you know what happens is Zach Larson rejects Cornwall. Cornwall, he rejects him and knocks him right, right back into the ball carrier. You know why? He hit him on the rise. He was pad under pad. Uh, Zach Larson's 224, Cornwall's 260, but why? Leverage. Boom. Davis looking over the middle, going down the field, incomplete. Pass was high, and Spencer Williamson absolutely belted Darius Hill. Boy, Spencer Williamson's been all over. But yet again, you know, this ball's a bit overthrown. But watch the release here on Nate Davis. Single! Look at the, when you look at the revolutions of a football, the, how when the ball turns, how fast it turns, that tells you a lot about arm strength. Possibly a catch. Eh. I'd put that one on Nate Davis for overthrowing football, but you know what? With Williams back there patrolling the secondary, there's a lot of guys that are gonna look the other way. Third and eight for Chris Clancy now at tailback. Nate Davis, the fine quarterback, looking, pressured. Host of red shirts and they've got him. 
Down he goes at the 30-yard line. Josh Allen was the man, along with Mike Krause, I believe, who made the sack. Josh Allen, indeed. And why they were able to make the sack, David, is what I mentioned two plays ago. They contained him. They made him stay in the pocket, and then they pursued him. Josh Allen, right there, there's contain. Outstanding play there by Mike Krause, number 58, the nose tackle. This guy's come up big a couple of times. Loss of 15 yards. Matt Simon, the deep man. Krause will get a full sack there. That was an outstanding play. Simon, fair catch, and he's got it. Northern Illinois will have the football at their own 30-yard line. 12.09 left third quarter. Huskies trail Cardinals by three. Give it to me, give it to me, one, two, three. Introducing Applebee's new Ultimate Trios. Great taste, great big portions, and a great price. Choose three from seven delicious options to create your ultimate flavor fest, like our new 100% Angus beef mini bacon cheeseburgers, new crispy, plump, and spicy dynamite shrimp, and the new flame-grilled steak quesadilla tower. Ultimate Trios, ultimate platter at an unbeatable price. Only at Applebee's. Give it to me, give it to me, one, two, three. I am so busted. They're asleep. Cut the lights. Who's counting on your brakes today? Your brakes are too important to trust to just anyone. That's why more people get theirs done at Midas. Almost two million last year alone. Be safe. Trust the Midas touch. Welcome back. The Huskies have the football at their own 31-yard line. It's where they have spotted it for Ryan Morris and company. Huskies trail by three. A handoff David Bryant. He will be lit up behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of four. Cortland Booker led a host of white shirts. Let's go to Kenny McReynolds. Well, well, David, Justin Anderson just came back onto the field. He's in a warm-up suit. He told me that he has injured his PCL. That holds the knee together, but it will not require surgery. He says it will heal on his own. It will scar up on the inside. This is something I know a lot about. I've had 18 knee operations, so it's really good to hear. He will not require surgery, but he won't be back, of course, today. David? All right, thank you, Kenny Mack. And you think Kenny's exaggerating. He has had that many. Kenny has dealt with knee problems. He was a fine athlete, I believe, if I'm correct. Football loose, but I think they're going to call it incomplete. Our Kenny McReynolds was one of the fastest guys in this state, and I think he was at Cathedral High School. Don't know if he can hear me, but... Fastest guy in the world. There you go. Were you at Cathedral High School? Yeah, I was at Holy Name Cathedral High School, and I hurt my knee also playing basketball. You know, I had an invitation to the 1976 Olympic trials and hurt my knee playing basketball. Yeah, Ken Kenny McGrell's one of the fastest guys this state has ever seen. The slowest guy to pick up a check, but the fastest guy <laughs> down the field. Morris looking, looking, dumps. David Bryant has it, picks his way. David Bryant makes a couple men miss. And David Bryant may have picked up a Northern Illinois first down. Bob, that play looked like it was doomed. An interesting play, as I mentioned, about choreograph. You, you, you don't draw up a screen play, you choreograph it. Everybody has to be in the right place at the right time. He hides just a little bit, but one of the offensive linemen is right there in front of him. I believe that was Scantrud right there. But you know what? He hid behind him, and then he popped out, and he was on his way. Didn't look pretty, but he got the job done. Scatrude was there to make the block, you're right, but David Bryant did a wonderful job picking his way, and it is enough for a first down, move the chains. David Bryant has the handoff there, drives his legs and picks up, they'll call that probably a gain of four, maybe five. Uh, we're gonna, what, what, this play here, again, as I mentioned, you very seldom, football's copycat. Pro, college guys see what pro guys are doing, and they try to emulate a little bit. There are very few true fullbacks on NFL rosters. So how do you compensate for that on, on lead plays? You take a tight end, you put him in motion, and he goes in motion until the point of attack, and then, boom, he looks for the linebacker. And up, David Bryant fumbled the football, and he fell back on top of it. Never quite put it away. 
and he dives on top of it on second and five. Oh, don't always blame the back. The back is not looking for the football. It's the job of the quarterback to look the ball into the pocket. And that time right there, David, it, it may be on Bryant. Perhaps he didn't open the pocket big enough. And the pocket, what I mean is the, the, you, the inside arm, the arm closest to the quarterback has to be up. The, the arm away from the quarterback is at about the waist. When he feels the ball against his midsection, he, he, he bears down on it. Morris with time, dumps it over the middle, finds Simon, makes a man miss, and that will be enough for another Northern Illinois first down. So their offense now starting to click. Good job here of using the uh, the official basically as a pick. This is just a little inside, little inside pass, very safe throw. It's amazing he caught that football. You know, sometimes you do the drill with, with, with wide receivers, you hold a bag in front of them. And as the ball is thrown, you drop the bag and then they have to react to it. That's the same thing that happened right there with that official. Bryant, and he will pick up maybe a yard. Bryant needs to start to keep his legs up underneath him a little bit longer before he starts to lean for the extra yardage. You have to keep your feet moving until the choppy steps until about linebacker depth, and then you can start to stretch it out. But those feet have to be quick, move quickly in line. Linebacker depth, start to stretch it out, and look for the end zone. Second and 10 from the Ball State 46 yard line. Ryan Morris. Straight drop, looking, goes down the field, finds his man, football comes out. I believe he was down. And I believe they're going to call him down, but he will be short of a first down. It'll bring up a third and short situation. Brian Beckner was the man that made the catch over the middle. Brady Hoke expressing his ire yet again as to whether this, uh, the wide receiver was down or not. Good target, tucked the ball in, both hands on the ball. Both hands on the ball there, young man. Brian Haynes, though, reaches out around the defense, uh, ball carrier and attempts to pull the ball out. That's good linebacker coaching. You practice those things. David Bryant picking his way. He is hit, and he'll be short of a first down. It will bring up decision time for Joe Novak. Mike Darula made the hit, but he also has put Joe Novak in decision time. Darula, nice job of sorting things out. Comes up like a, lot, a, a, a perfect linebacker technique. David, the hits in this game halfway through the third quarter are resonating throughout the stadium. This is a big hitting football. Fourth game. and one for the Huskies. <laughs> Morris looking, looking, throws. It is tipped away. So Ball State will hold, and Northern Illinois will turn it over on downs. Ball State will take over at their own 37-yard line. This ball tipped. This needed to be just a little bit more of a touch throw. In other words, a little more air under the ball. And as you mentioned, the ball was tipped yet again by Mike Darula. It had to be just, you had uh, the trajectory. Yeah, and Ryan, dump it over the right, top. Ryan Morris will understand that as, 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 as we watch him go through his progressions here. Right, and through the course of the game, he's improved radically. But that has to have a little bit more air under a little bit of a higher trajectory on that throw. Dante throw. Love is the man who is now at tailback. Straight drop for Nate Davis. Tucks it, looking, dumps it off to Johnson, up the sideline, and ducks out of bounds. That will be a Ball State first down. There has to be a defensive adjustment by Denny Dornboss, the defensive coordinator at Northern Illinois, to contain Nate Davis. He is lethal when he breaks contain and gets out on the flat. And there he is right there. Shoulder square, good vision, little dump pass, almost amounts to basically a handoff. Very, very aware young quarterback. You have to contain him. You have to keep him in the pocket. You can't let him get out into the flat. He's just too athletic. Davis throws, finds his man, and that will be another Ball State first down. Love makes the catch. 
Dante Love, who has been a real thorn in the side of the Huskies today. Second team all MAC player. I mean, this young guy, uh, you know, from Cincinnati, Ohio, Winthrop High School. Great, watch this. Just settle, just settle, be patient. Know where you're at on the field. Little juke, get up field. Choke no your one. motor down. Exactly, choke your motor down. Well put, Cappy. I can see you're taking notes over the past three or four weeks. I'm, hey, I'm flattered. Dante Love makes the catch, and he'll be knocked down at the Northern Illinois, he's he's just short of the 10-yard line. Ball. So an impressive drive out of Ball State. Watch number 22 here, the running back. Watch number 22, the running back. Here comes on a defensive end, David, that young man is. Help me out here, my friend. Oh, Dante Love. No, 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 no. Ray Winkler. Ray Winkler. I'm sorry, Raymond. Ray Winkler. Outstanding block. And he took on a defensive end. Chopped him. Without that block, that, that play that is not successful. It's going to bring up a second down situation. I was searching for my reading glasses, and that's why I look to you for assistance. I don't want to step on your toes. We should be like... Uh, Kessinger and um, who was the second baseman? Uh, Beck. Beck. Kessinger and Beck. Davis to the end zone. Dropped. He had his man. Darius Hill had it in his mitts and could not corral it. And it'll bring up a third down situation. It, Darius Hill, and that ball's thrown 10 times. He makes nine of those catches. There was just a little bit of happening in front of him. Dante Love here, though. Watch number 86. Whoa! Got to make that read. Got to make that what? read. Hill's got to make the catch. No, yeah, he does, but he has to make that read also. Love was wide open. 10. Nate Davis and Ball State. Looking, looking, pressured, and he's going down. Zach Larson, who has played a heck of a football game, dragged him down. It will bring up a fourth down situation. Josh Allen also involved in the tackle. Zach Larson down, up. Great athleticism continues to come. See how that knee touched down and he popped right up? David, you can't teach that. That is great athleticism. This young guy from Northfield, Minnesota, captain of his high school football team, a 3.2 GPA at Northern Illinois University. McGarvey. The snap. And a botched exchange, and down he goes. Football loose. And Ball State will recover it. It will go over to Northern Illinois. Wow. I think it was Tanner Justice, a backup quarterback, could not put it down. We will take a timeout, show you the replay when we come back. Northern Illinois got the football down three on Comcast Sportsnet. LASIK eye surgery for $39 a month? Yes, you can. Now choose LASIK eye surgery at the Hauser Ross Eye Institute for only $39 a month or 18 easy monthly payments with no interest. That's right. Affordable payment options make freedom from glasses and contacts closer than ever. For only $39 a month or 18 easy payments, experience what thousands already know. If you've ever thought about seeing life without glasses or contacts, then now's the time to discover Hauser Ross. LASIK eye surgery at the Hauser Ross Eye Institute. Now affordable as ever. Call 1-800-CHECKUP today. You never know who's going to drop by Chicago Tribune Live. Brian Urlacher, Rod Blagojevich. I expect to get booed going in. If I throw the ball in the dirt, I'll get booed going out. So my goal is getting booed just once. Dale Talon, Rob Zook. Uh, we're excited about the, you know, the direction that we're going. Ben Gordon, Joe Buck. Pinnell has done a, a great job of changing the entire atmosphere around that team. Chicago Tribune Live, presented by your Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers. Weeknights at 5.30 on Comcast Sportsnet. They're the teams you live for, the players you cheer for, and the events that make you stop everything. Whatever side you're on, whatever captures your interest most, there's one common bond that unites us all. We all 
share a passion for Chicago sports. That's why fans like you need a television home devoted solely to you. The games, the news, the analysis, and everything else you desire. It's all right here on Comcast Sportsnet. Fans' best friend. Sit. Watch. Uh -huh. All right, welcome back here on Comcast Sportsnet. David Kaplan, Bob Kamel, and Kenny McReynolds with you. We'll try and get a look at that botched snap and hold on the field goal. But Northern Illinois has got it. David Bryant will go nowhere. Let's take a look again if it's a bad snap or what happens. I'll put that on the holder. That ball should have been set down. I don't think it was on the snap. You practice the bad ball drill with the holder. You throw them ground balls. You throw them high to the right, this way, that way. You get a wet football. You practice with a wet football. That's on the holder. I, I don't put that on the, on the center right there. Tanner Justice, a backup quarterback. Tanner Justice out of Indianapolis, sophomore 6'3". He is the holder on that situation. There's the toss, it will be a gain. Very short, Britt Davis goes to one knee to make the catch. Gain of two yards, perhaps, on the play, bringing up a third and eight at the 341 mark. Keep in mind now, the wind is not as much of a factor as it was earlier, but Northern Illinois will go into the wind in the fourth quarter. Ryan Morris has to make that throw so that the, the Britt Davis can make the catch and run with the football. He has to bring that throw up and give him the opportunity for yards after catch. Morris, deep drop, goes down the field, throws, finds Simon, and that's enough for a Northern Illinois first down. Big throw, big catch. Great play, great route. Uh, David, I'm gonna tell you why. Matt Simon knows where he's at on the field. He knows what it takes to move the sticks. Great route here, drives off, pumps his arms, rolls to the outside. He has a two-way go on that on that route. If the defender is to his inside, he goes to the outside. If the defender is to the outside, he rolls into the outside and then comes back across. Nice route. Nice route, Matt Simon. And off David Bryant, and he will pick his way. May have gotten back to the line of scrimmage, maybe. Bryant has to stay a, a bit longer with the point of attack. In other words, he's cutting the football back too quickly. Be a little more patient, see where the point of attack is. If it's definitely not there, then cut the ball back. I thought he had a good lead block there. I thought he should have followed his block. Amara Karoma was one of the men who made the tackle for Ball State. Morris throws, finds Matt Simon, and Simon will be very close to another first down. I think he got it. He did. Ryan Morris, David, as this game moves on, you know, I talked about a running back being on a roll. He is on a roll. He sees the entire field. He shows good vision. And again, yet another good route. Why was this a good route? Because he came back for the football. Matt Simon came back for the football. He caused separation between himself and the defender. You linger back there, you give those defenders an opportunity to buy a little time, drive on the football, and disrupt the pass. David Bryant on first down, and he will gain nothing. David, I'm, uh, David I mentioned earlier uh, with David Bryant, he has to keep his feet up underneath himself longer and not get into that leaning mode as we've seen. Play a little bit longer over your feet and then stretch out after you've gained a couple How much of that, yards. though, Bob, would you give that he was a linebacker converted? Well, that's a, you know, he's shown some excellent things here, though. He's a tough kid. I like his speed. I like his strength. He's 202 pounds, low center of gravity at 5'10". Play action, Morris pressure, throws, and it's short of Matt Simon. And it's going to bring up a third and 10 situation at the Northern Illinois 37-yard line. There's a lot of pressure here. Right, I think they brought eight guys here. This is a well-conceived blitz, a well-conceived blitz. And, and, and there's Brian again. You talk about 
and again, I don't want to really just kind of go after this kid this way. He is a converted linebacker. He went down on the defender too long. You need to stay up a little longer, even if you're going to chop him. That will come with experience. Morris pressured, dumps it off, and it is short of Bryant. Broken play, David. Yeah. Bryant never looked back for the ball. I think ball. they wanted to run a screen. Well, you know, that's a way to slow down a blitz. Run some screens, run some draws, because they are blitzing, blitzing, blitzing. And well, they should. You're talking about a young, young, inexperienced quarterback. They were not on the same page on that play. This punt will be critical for field position. Right, because you get to punt with the win one more time. Dit better to punt it away. A high spiraling kick. It will come down at the 25 yard line. So that's where Ball State will go on the attack. 40.8 left in the third. It's Ball State by three. Looking for a wireless phone and service? The Phone Store features service from Sprint PCS, U.S. Cellular, T-Mobile, and Nextel. Why buy a phone from a store that offers only one carrier? At The Phone Store, our friendly, knowledgeable staff will help you compare between all of our carriers and help you find the phone and service that fits your needs the best. The Phone Store, with two great locations, in Rochelle next to Sullivan's Foods and in DeKalb on Sycamore Road next to Great Clips by Aldi. Or call 815-78-PHONE. Yeah, well, it's a pretty good job, isn't it, when you think about it? I mean, basically, I help people save money, don't I? Like, I tell people they can save hundreds by switching to GEICO. They go to GEICO.com, maybe save all this money on car insurance, and the next thing you know, I'm, like, invited to their wedding or whatever. One bloke actually asked me to be his best man. Dear, oh, dear. Anyway, look, don't matter. Look, point is, if you want loads of friends, giving away money, it's not a bad idea. GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Fans will get a T-shirt. Welcome back, uh, Comcast Sportsnet. Thank you to all the great people here in DeKalb all season long. Bob, you and I have been here for several games. Thank you to Dr. James Phillips, the fine athletic director, his staff, Donna Martin and her staff in sports information, Mike Corsick, our dear friend, sports information director, Emeritus, who is retired but still works in the athletic department, all the people that help us put Husky football on the air for you, and of course, Joe Riley, Jim Corno Sr., Jim Corno Jr., and everybody over at Comcast, Greg Bowman, everybody, and Todd Benjaminson and the crew down in the truck. It's been a lot of fun all summer, uh, all fall and into the winter long. Uh, no doubt about it. No doubt about it, David. You know, there's no saying in management, so above, so below. Jim Phillips, Dr. Jim Phillips, I mean, from the people that take your ticket to the people that, the ushers, the people up in the press box, everybody reflects the personality of Jim. Very upbeat, very optimistic, Northern Illinois, a Weber guy, Weber High School in Chicago, near Northwest Side guy, Northern Illinois is lucky to have him. And again, you mentioned Mr. Jim Cornrow Jr. And you know how much I appreciate this opportunity. Myself. Absolutely, you and I both. We've got a timeout, we're going to change ends. Fourth quarter's coming up on Comcast Sportsnet. NIU fans, when you enter the Village Commons bookstore, you're entering Husky territory. VCB is the official site for NIU athletics, featuring the new NIU logo on a wide range of hats, t-shirts, shorts, sweats, and NIU logo gifts and accessories. Whether you're a student, graduate, or a fan of NIU athletics, the Village Commons bookstore is your Husky headquarters. Visit us in DeKalb or call us toll free, 800-700-4868 or on the web at www.vcbs.com. Game on. The home series is in full swing. And only Comcast Sportsnet brings you all the action on the ice in crystal clear high definition. November 30th, tune into Comcast Sportsnet for a special home game telecast as Patrick Kane, Jonathan Taves, and the Blackhawks take on Wayne Gretzky's Phoenix Coyotes at the United Center. It all starts November 30th at 7 with Chevy Blackhawks pregame live with Steve Conrad and Jim Blaney. Only on Comcast Sportsnet. Fans' best friend. After every Bears game, no one brings you more in-depth analysis than Comcast Sportsnet's post-game live crew. That's the way the offense is supposed to work. This lineup of former Bears provides insight you can't get anywhere else. Crucial plays by big-time players, you need that in every game. 
Plus, get caught up on the latest in men's fashion. Not a lot of people can wear this many stripes right, and, then and come have back it coordinated. Make it look yeah. good. There's Post Game Live after every game, only on Comcast Sportsnet, fans' best friend. All right, fourth quarter, ready to go. Ball State, a 17-14 lead over the Northern Illinois Huskies. David Kaplan, Bob Kamel, Kenny McReynolds with you. We welcome into the booth here Dr. Jim Phillips, the fine athletic director at Northern Illinois. Jim, you're seeing a heck of a football game today. The Huskies have really come to play. Absolutely. Typical Joe Novak football, and uh, really proud of the kids' effort. This Ball State club is a good club, you know, trying to get themselves, ready, you know, in bowl eligibility position, and uh, our kids have uh, not missed a beat all day tonight. Uh, uh, Dr. Phillips, as we prepared for the game, uh, David, and I mentioned to David, as you go through the bios of your players, high school captain, National Honor Society, high school captain, National Honor Society, 3.5 GPA at Northern Illinois University. Is this part of Joe's model for recruiting, and is it part of your model for the entire department? Absolutely. That credit goes to Coach Novak for recruiting just tremendous student athletes that take the academic part of it very seriously. And uh, we've tried to just supplement them coming in and, and providing them great facilities as we've talked about before, the Jordan Center and other acad academic and athletic performance facilities. And uh, I think that equates to the success that we've had for sure. Lewis Johnson makes the catch. This Ball State Club, they're where you were a year ago, fighting to get to a bowl game. Brady Hook's done a nice job, but with all the injuries, you've got to be excited that next year you guys should be right back in the thick of things in the Mid-American Conference. That, that was the shortest senior introduction that I've ever been associated with Nine on senior kids. day. Nine kids. Nine and players. that was over before you could even blink once. So you're exactly right, Dave. I, I'm, I'm very, very excited about what the future holds for this program. Winkler makes the carry. He's inside the 40-yard line on a right gain of about stop. three and a half, maybe four. Uh, but you're seeing two teams really fighting here today. It's a great game. Uh, uh, Jim, this is so emblematic, so emblematic of Mid-American Conference football. This is a big hitting football game with two technique conscious football teams and two old fashioned football coaches, if you will. And you know me, that's a high compliment for me. Davis looking, looking. Throws, it is incomplete, oh, but I believe they're gonna get Bradley Pruitt on pass interference. Flag comes flying in, and that's what I think the call will be. Words between Pruitt and Dante Love. Right around the 30-yard line or so. 10 yards in the previous spot. Automatic first down. And Pruitt, indeed. You know, uh, young Bradley Pruitt from Chicago Hyde Park High School. My hat is off to the public league coaches in Chicago. David, they have resurrected, and Dr. Phillips, resurrected some great high school programs. And over about the past 10 years, the quality of football in the Chicago Public League has just skyrocketed. You know, I talked to your basketball coach the other night on the radio, Ricardo Patton, and we talked about the effect of the Yorton Center, and he said, well, I come from the Big 12. He goes, there's no facility in that conference as good as what he has here now to recruit. That's got to be able to help every program. No question, Cap. And it's something that's very important to not only our coaches, but the student athletes, athletes that they recruit. We have to provide them with the facilities that they need to be successful. You can talk about it and tell them how you're going to support it, but they want to see it. They want to see exactly where they're going to study, where they're going to train. If they were to get injured, like we've had a rash of injuries this year, where would they rehab? What does the rehabilitation and sports medicine area look like? So it's a reinvestment in their future, and, and I'm very, very proud of what we've been able to accomplish. Boy, you trainers have been busy. <laughs> Holy smokes. Second down at 12. It's a second and 12 situation for Ball State at the NIU 31 yard line. Nate Davis barks out the signals out of the shotgun. Looking, looking, pressured. Finds Winkler out of the backfield. Winkler dives ahead for a gain of about seven. David, you can't say enough. There's Diesel. Hey, Diesel. You can't say enough about Nate Davis. I mean, athleticism, right there, the presence that he showed under duress just to dump that pass off. I mean, that is something you can't teach. Those are instincts that the great ones have. Big third down situation here. Davis looking, dumps it over the middle, 
and it's going to be enough for a first down. They're going to spot this about a yard and a half beyond the first down marker. So it is a Ball State first down inside the Northern Illinois 20-yard line. You know, you watch some of the scores and you see some of the players. There's some really good talent top to bottom every year in the Mid-American Conference. But this year, quarterback's a very deep position. They really are, uh, David. And Bob, you've followed football for a long time, coached it for a lot of years. You gotta have those playmakers, as you described. Ball State has one of those. I'm proud of our guy, Ryan Morris, one Absolutely. of our redshirt freshmen. He's done a very nice job under some tough circumstances. Davis steps up, looks, throws, finds his man, and that will be Love making another catch, and he's out at the six yard line. David, you bring up a great point about mid-American mid-american quarterbacks and not the least of which nate davis will probably join join this elite group look at the way the velocity of this football shoulder square looks from right to left see that ball we call that a tight ball when that ball spins like that it's a tight ball one week last year there were eight rostered nfl quarterbacks from the mid-american conference six of whom were going to start the next day Of course, the best of the bunch may be Ben Roethlisberger out of Miami, who's doing great work for the Steelers. Toss to the end zone, incomplete. Hill points back at Davis's throw it with a little more elevation. Well, they were not on the same page. It was a fade route. It was a fade route, and Hill gave up just a little too soon. He needed to get to the corner of the end zone. They were not in sync on this play right here. The ball, I think it was thrown plenty high. He needed to be turned and the ball needed to be thrown over his far shoulder away from the defender. That's what, that's what he's telling Davis. This is no time for, uh, uh, for debate here uh, on the football field. They need to get on the same page immediately if they're to be successful. Davis looking, throws, touchdown. Winkler wide open. It'll be a six yard touchdown toss. Nate Davis to Ray Winkler and Ball State looking to go up 10 pending the PAT. So 11-18 to go, and Joe Novak's club is going to have to go into the wind on a very cold evening here in DeKalb as we take a look at the touchdown. Well, he comes out of the backfield untouched. That is on a linebacker. Perhaps, perhaps, okay, there was a mix-up as to who would have the back out of the backfield. He absolutely came too free. They, Denny Dornboss needs to take a look at that play and needs to make an adjustment and a correction immediately because they'll come right back with it. All right, we'll take a timeout. We'll tell you about the drive. When we come back, Ball State by 10 in DeKalb. Ball State finds the end zone. And they have a 10-point lead at the 11-18 mark. David Kaplan, Bob Kamel, Kenny McReynolds, your crew. Dr. James Phillips, the athletic director at Northern they Illinois, is here Detroit in the booth with us. And I was asking you at the break, we see the guys kicking extra points and short field goals at this end, trying to hit the Jordan Center. Did you put special glass in so they don't shatter the window? <laughs> we did, David. That's exactly what, that's exactly right. We had our kickers get as close as they could within about 10 yards and kick it as hard as they could. And, and uh, the architects 
guaranteed us that it would not break or crack or, or do any kind of damage. And, and sure enough, we've been through a whole season now, and we've had no, we've problem. had no problems. <laughs> they didn't have that kind of a glass when you were running around on no. Central and full, uh, throwing baseballs with your, your brothers. And oh, look at that. I mean, look at that. Look at the picture of this place. My friends, I've been all over the country. I've seen football facilities. I've coached in them. It does not get any better than the Jordan Center. Just gorgeous, Jeff. Simon, the man in motion. Morris play action. He's pressured, and he is going down. He goes down in a heap at the five-yard line, but there was a missed assignment there out of Brandon Davis. Trey Lewis with the cornerback blitz, but Bobby, you can see the big man did not pick up the blitzer. No, they didn't. They need to get in accord. They need to work. Don't, don't just blame the offensive lineman. Running backs have to block also. That big guy, number 56, uh, Bar Baranaga from up in Milwaukee, Marquette High School, he just got in there and he has to be a, uh, had to be a high school wrestler because he's pad under pad, his hands are inside, he's controlling Eddie Adamski, which is not easy to do. Northern Illinois will take a timeout. That is a loss of 12. Second and 22 now. Ball sits at their own eight. Now you have a basketball game today. We do, Stephen and Foss. Absolutely. We've been on the road, it seems like, for the whole month of November. We have not had a, a home game yet to, the today. The longest streak to start a season of road games in 87 years in Northern right. Illinois history. Don't mess with David Kaplan and statistics, huh, Coach Kamal? He knows all of them. But you're right, and, and I'm excited about when the football game's finished to sprint over to the Convocation Center, another wonderful world-class facility that we have here on campus, and get a chance to see Ricardo Patton in his first home game as head men's basketball coach. Now, the York Center's in place. It's functioning. What's your next project, Dr. Well, we're going to build a track and soccer complex. We, we, we just got approval from uh, uh, half of the board. It's going to go to the full board in December. Tremendous, tremendous project that we will kick off immediately upon uh, the weather breaking after the first of the year. So uh, a soccer track complex is coming soon in DeKalb. We'll be finished before soccer season starts at the uh, end of August. David Bryant makes the catch and gets it back out to the 15-yard line, a gain of seven. It'll bring up a little bit more manageable situation. Third and 15 now for the Huskies. Dr. Phillips, do you have a third and 15 call here? <laughs> do you have your call sheet here? <laughs> Anything to get to the ball to the 31-yard line, Bob. <laughs> I, still, I, I still marvel at the contact in this game. I mentioned to David earlier, Dr. Phillips, the hitting just is resonating throughout the stadium, throughout the game. Morris looking, he's got some time, goes down the field, and it is broken up, intended for Britt Davis. Gonna bring up a punting situation for the Huskies. Trey Lewis was back there in coverage. Now you are an alum of the University of Illinois. They're having a fine season. Is there any talk ever of getting Northern Illinois and Illinois right here in DeKalb? You know what, we, we, we have had some discussions and uh, we're working as two conferences, the Big Ten and the Mid-American Conference, to partner a little bit because we're in the same footprint. We, we're, our, our, our universities are in the same states, and I think it makes a lot of sense. The, the guarantee games have just skyrocketed, and uh, we were able to pull off a wonderful event in Chicago at the beginning of the year against Iowa, which was tremendous at Soldier Field, and some of those kinds of games would be great. And, and I know in basketball, I think we're close to, to, to playing a game down in Champaign next year, so that, that would be great if we could get something arranged. You were back there in the glory days, the late 80s. All right, we've got a timeout on the field. It is 24-14, Ball State, 9.39 left in DeKalb. It's our pride in the red, white, and blue. It's our commitment that always comes shining through. It's everything that you need. Always find what I need. You can get everything here. Always have good service. Got everything we needed. The hardest working people in America find value at Farm and Fleet. Want the best local sports highlights? Got it. Out in the foul. Scores! Picture perfect! Need in-depth coverage of your team? We want to continue to build, continue to bring it every night. Pat Boyle and Mark Janowski have you covered. All of Chicago sports highlights, news, and interviews.
everything you need to know about Chicago sports. Sports Night with Pat Boyle and Mark Chanelski. Every weeknight at 6, 30, and 10, only on Comcast Sportsnet, a Chicago sports fan's best friend. Tonight, the Circus Road Trip continues for the Hawks as they take on the Oilers in Edmonton. Coverage starts with Chevy Blackhawks pregame live. Blackhawks Oilers, tonight at 8.30 on Comcast Sportsnet. Fans' best friend. Every Monday, catch the Bears recap on Comcast Sportsnet. Hear what Lovey Smith has to say about the previous game and get a preview of the upcoming weekend's matchup. Don't miss Bears recap every Monday at 5, only on Comcast Sportsnet. Fans' best friend. 9.39 left in the fourth in DeKalb. Ball State, a 24-14 lead. That is the Convocation Center, where Northern Illinois will play their first home basketball game a little bit later on this evening. It will start the Ricardo Patton era in DeKalb. They have played on the road already. So I told you at the break, you need to have a huge husky illuminated off the side of the building. We said during the break, the, uh, listeners didn't hear what, what I said. I'm going to do that and not give you any credit yeah, exactly. for it. <laughs> we need a huge husky defensive stand right here. You're right, Coach. This is, a, this is a this is the the plays of the game right here. If we could hold them and get the ball back, there's still plenty of time to put two scores together. But you mentioned one thing. You know the quality of the football, even with all the injuries. One goes down, one steps up. Naturally, with with the numbers in collegiate athletics right now you're not going to have the depth that you've had. But I think it's a real credit to Joe Novak that this team has hung in there the way they have. And I mean, right here, a great example of that. Just battling and fighting. Pass rushing is one of the most difficult things to do over a period of time in a game because the big guys are on the run, they're on the move, and, and, and here, and Zach Larson, some linebackers can blitz, some can't. Watch him right here, takes on the block, sheds the block, he's being held, and he keeps coming. This Zach Larson has a great, great motor, as they say, he's a prototype. Reminds me of a kid I coached years ago by the name of Tim Griffin from Aurora. Timmy was a tough guy like that. I think he's the second leading tackler in the history of uh, Northern Illinois behind the great Frank Lewandowski. Snap Davis, looking, looking. Has a lot of time, dumps it over the middle to Winkler, and he is lit up. Goodness me. Zach Larson again. Wow. I mean, he came up, and that is the way you hit. Hello. That's where, this is a form of defense. Say, well, he's not near, he's not near the, 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 the ball receiver. But you know what? The fact he comes up and hits him like that, that's pass defense. Why? Because the next time any receiver goes across there, he's like, hey, hey, where's Zach? Where's Zach? Boom! And he sneaks up and he, he hits him on the right. Matt Simon is deep. Ball State will punt it away. Chris Miller will do the honors for the Cardinals. The Huskies will get the football back. Snap, the punt is away. It's a high driving kick coming down and it will roll into the end zone and out the back of the end zone. And the Huskies will have it at the 20 yard line. Dr. Jim Phillips, thank you for being here, for taking time. And thank, thank you, you for it. everything all season care, long. Jim. Hey, thanks to everybody at Comcast Sports now. We really appreciate it. Jim Corno and Greg Bowman and the whole crew, you guys are the best. And uh, we look forward to a lot more seasons together. You got it. All the best to you. Happy take holidays. Care. Best your family, doctor. Dr. James Phillips, the class athletic director. Act. He's the best. A class he act. is the best. That's coming from a Fenwick guy about a Weber guy, you know. We uh, you know we hand those things out no, to you uh, don't. That. In his case, absolutely. Morris looking, short toss. Britt Davis has it. Knocked down at the 24-yard line. David, it's going to come time here in Northern Illinois' offensive repertoire to take yet another shot downfield or start throwing some more, some intermediate routes and hope for run after catch. The three-yard dinks here and there, that's fine, but you know they're going to start fighting the clock here in a little bit. A couple play actions, get the ball downfield, even if it's some type of a gimmick play or a gadget play, as it seems to be called now. Morris, deep drop, looking, going down the field, and he misses his man. Matt Simon, the intended target. It will bring up a third and about five, maybe six. Well, Matt Simon wide open on that play. Ryan Morris has to make that throw. This is where the senior leadership comes up. Come in a huddle. Ryan, settle down, settle down. There's six minutes and 41 seconds left on the clock. 
Come on, just settle down. Make that throw. You can make that throw. Morris is going down in a heap. Football may have come loose, and I think Ball State might have it. Ball State does have it. Brandon Crawford, the defensive end from the Cardinals, 6'3", 248, junior. Watch Brandon Crawford come off the football, number 90, right in the middle of your screen. Talk about battling. He separates two blockers, separates two blockers, and comes through. But watch him come off the ball with the quickness. Two guys on him. My good, that, David, this is what defensive line play is all about. And these guys are getting bigger and faster all the time. That's why quarterbacks, you can't win without a mobile When you think back to when you were first recruiting at the collegiate division one level, what were the size of the linemen? Probably the size of the linebackers right now, the it's defensive linemen, yeah. Hand off to Winkler, and he is upended just short of the 10 yard line. Bradley Pruitt, I think, was the man that sent him airborne. Bobby, it's been a lot of fun working with you oh, all David, season long. I mean, it, 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 I mean, you are the consummate pro. The feeling's mutual. We have a good time again. Talk about hard-hitting football. I mean, if you're near this area, when, when, the, when the Huskies tee it up again next year, talk about great fun, it's affordable, it's a great atmosphere, it's a great family atmosphere. Get out here and catch a, a, a mid-American game. I, trust me, you'll enjoy it. The entire family will enjoy it. Toss to the end zone. Incomplete. Incomplete. Nearly caught by Dante Love again. Bradley Pruitt was there in coverage. Good job, Bradley Pruitt, staying with it. And you know, never give up. Here, here we're gonna see him in his back pedal. Turns to the receiver, turns his hips, drives. Just at the right second, he looks back. If he looks back too soon, David, the defender gets away. If he doesn't look back, the catch is made. You look into the eyes, the defender looks into the eyes of the receiver. When they get big and he looks back, that's when you turn your head and you look back. Davis, pressure, gets rid of it, throws it behind Winkler. It is incomplete, and that will bring up a kicking situation. He's, he, he's under pressure here, but he actually throws the football behind the receiver. A little bit of pressure, the ball's thrown behind. He leads him a little bit, that's gonna be six points. Ian McGarvey out of the hold of Justice. Tanner Justice. Last attempt, Justice botched the snap. He could not put it down. We'll see if he can do a better job of it now. Very cold out there today. Snap, set, kick, perfect. It sails to the doors of the Jordan Center. Ball State has a 27, 14 lead at the 538 mark. Timeout, be right back on Comcast Sportsnet. Get reacquainted with an old friend, Eduardo's Mexican Restaurant in downtown DeKalb. Our simple but elegant dining room has been completely remodeled, including commissioned artwork by renowned Chicago artist Oscar Romero. But our great food hasn't changed. We still have the best selection of authentic Mexican dishes, including seasonal specials, all expertly prepared using only the finest and freshest ingredients, and served steaming hot to your taste. Eduardo's Mexican Restaurant, downtown DeKalb. Casey's, it's all good. Casey's, it's all right. Casey's, we make it. Stop into Casey's General Store and get a 25 cent two liter with the purchase of any large pizza. Plus tax and deposit not valid with any of their offer. Casey's General Store. Casey's, it's all. Good. 5.38 left. The Cardinals will kick off to the Northern Illinois Huskies. Jake Hogue will do the honors now. He's in to handle the kickoff. The Huskies trailing by 13. 
Low kick, and it will kick and stay in bounds. Looked like it was going to head out of bounds. Evans Adonis has it. He is knocked down and dropped back. They'll spot it just short of the 20 yard line. So the Huskies, with 5.32 left, need two touchdowns and two extra points to grab the lead. That is a tall task, Bob Kamel, in these conditions. Very cold. The wind chill now in the low teens. And it is a little bit of wind, India, just a tough situation. That great field position to start this drive with 532. David, you made a good point. The football looked like it was going to roll out of bounds. And that's tough for a, a, a returner. Do I pick it up? I have to pick it up because the ball's going 10 yards or it's going to be, you know, covered by the other team. They'll have the ball. You can't, hey, pick the football up, fall on the football. Don't do anything silly. Take care of the ball in this situation if you're going to give yourself a chance to win the football game. Good football games today around the country. You see LSU upset. So West Virginia wins big today over UConn. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the national picture. Quick timeout. We'll come right back on Comcast Sportsnet. Advance your career with an MBA from Northern Illinois University. I was able to balance my MBA with my professional life as well as my personal life. And best of all, NIU's MBA program is AACSB accredited and affordable. I was impressed with the knowledge and experience of the professors, and the program provided me with a well-rounded business education. The affordability and convenient locations made my decision easy, and it made my MBA a reality. Designed for the working professional, the MBA program at Northern Illinois University. Jumpstart your career today. We are back to action. Morris had his arm hit. Ball drops to the turf at the 526 mark. Brandon Crawford, the man who forced the fumble the last time, was the man who pressured and hit Morris as he threw. And we were talking as we went to break. LSU loses. West Virginia wins big today. I mean, it's a very jumbled national championship picture. It's kind of fun, to be very honest with you. I'm enjoying it. The intrigue of the BCS bowl picture. Good throw, good catch. Here's the deal now, David. The, one of the things that the offensive linemen from Northern Illinois, the de right now, are really in a disadvantage. Those defensive linemen for a ball state, I mean, there's 507 left, 13 points down. They've got a leg back. They know, they know Northern's going to throw the ball, and they're just coming. They're just teeing off and coming. Morris, pressure, down he goes again. This young man has really, really, uh, took, took some huge hits. I can't imagine that he's not going to be a little bit sore tomorrow morning. But again, offensive linemen, th these defensive linemen, they don't, they don't have to play the run anymore. Hey, I got a leg back. I'm in a sprinter stance. Snap that football, and here I come. And because you really can't take, get yourself in a situation where we start running screens and draws to slow him down. It's a little bit too late in the game for that. Loss of nine. B.J. Hill is deep to receive the punt from Andy Dittbenner as the clock drips under 420. Low driving kick, it will roll, and it will take a Northern Illinois hop to the 38-yard line, and that's where it'll be down, and that's where Ball State will go back on the attack, leading by 13 at the 406 mark. David, you know, I, I know you're in tune to these things because, uh, you know, your great knowledge, not only of basketball, football, baseball, everything. This is when, as an assistant football coach, you're looking at transactions. This is the weekend where a lot of changes will be made. Dennis Francioni from Texas A&M resigned. Bill as Callahan. I understand, Bill Callahan. Lloyd Carr has resigned. You know, when you see the head coaches resigning or your head coach being let go, remember one thing. There are nine assistant coaches in their families that are affected by these decisions. And a lot of times, the assistant coaches, their names aren't even mentioned. I mean, the athletic director comes in after the head coach is let go or resigns. They talk about what the benefits will be, how long they can use the phone, how long they can keep their car, how long they'll be paid, how long the insure, all of that stuff. So it, it affects a, a lot of people, not just the head coaches. That's right. People forget there are children of the assistance and the... It's hard, it's tough. I mean, don't get, don't get me wrong, David, you choose that lifestyle. But at the same time, it doesn't make it any easier. No, that's exactly correct. Right. Right. 
Winkler picks his way. Knocked down right around the 44, 43 yard line. You know, credit this Northern Illinois defense. And a timeout defense on the line, field. Linebacker second there. There is no, there will, you will never see a Joe Novak team that will not have fight in it, offensively and defensively, right to the final gun. You know, they'll be hitting the recruiting recruiting trail from a demographic standpoint. They're basically a Chicago-based program. They have 79 players on the roster that are from the state of Illinois. And I, I think that's proof. I, I really do. This university has a great academic presence in the greater Chicago area, has branches in various places. The facilities are upgraded. The academic offerings are marvelous. And I know that Joe Novak and his staff have an excellent rapport with high school coaches throughout the state. Well, you and I were both coaching here. I was the basketball assistant. You were the football assistant at the same time, and that's when we became friends 25 right. years ago. But think of how everything's upgraded oh. since we were here. David, that side, the, the other side of the stands opposite us did not exist when we coached here. That's correct. Let alone the Orton Center. Thanks to park where the Orton Center is. That was all that was there. Winkler knocked down about the 44-yard line. Clock is dripping down towards the three-minute mark, but a timeout, Northern Illinois, their second. 30 seconds. That's their third, so Northern is out of timeouts. Let's take a look at the standings. There they are. Rough season for the Huskies due to injury. Central Michigan on top, six and one in the league. Ball State is in second place there with that four and two conference mark. Six and five overall. Ball State played a very, very challenging schedule. If you look at some of their games this year, and I'll run some of those down for you. Uh, Ball State this year lost to Miami and then played Eastern Michigan, then they were at Navy, at Nebraska. Uh, they had a game with Western Kentucky. They played at Illinois, at Indiana. I mean, they played quite a challenging schedule in addition to the MAC game. Punt sails away. Simon has it, and he will be dropped at the 24-yard line, right on top of the 24-yard line. Ball State beat Navy. You know, this game is not over. It's oh, a 13-point no. game at the 302 mark. If you could find a way to get a quick strike for a touchdown, then you're a, a touchdown away from leading. They may need right now a gimmick play, uh, uh, that, that flea flicker that they used earlier, something like that to get the ball. Their field position has really put them at a huge disadvantage offensively. Morris looking, throws, finds his man. It's Greg Turner, I believe, who made the catch. And he will be escorted out of bounds, gain of Let's see what they're going to call. I think they'll call it about eight. Ball State now, from a defensive standpoint, they, they, they basically are putting a frame around Northern Illinois' defense, just the keeping 32. them inside and in front, giving them a lot of cushion, getting a great drive on the football, getting a great break on the football. Cross, catch, nope, the ball's dropped. That ball was dropped by Matt Simon. You no, know, they're playing, playing too deep, too deep coverage. The corners are up, both safeties are off. Again, going through his progression, looking, looking, well-thrown football, takes his eye off the football, and, and, and uh, just uh, as I've told you before, David, I can't emphasize enough, focus, concentrate, bring the ball into your abdomen after you catch it, but look it all the way down. Morris throws, has Turner again. Yeah, he made by the catch. Turner. That will be enough to move the chains for a Northern Illinois first down. Go to it, totally. Getting the plays in from the sideline. Young guy, I, I think Ryan Morris, he's, he's really, I mean, he's been sacked so many times today. But he's, he's managed, he's managed the game and took care of the ball, I think very well for a young guy just coming in in, in, a, in a relief position. But I think, you know, the fact that he has to play right now, redshirt sophomore who was a walk-on, I think that is really reflective of the physical state of Northern Illinois football. And that's one of the things, David, they'll have to evaluate in the offseason. You know, 
these injuries? Are, how are we training to prevent these injuries? What can we do? How did we train? How's our strength and, and conditioning program? The doctors will get together with the trainers and the strength and conditioning guys. They'll make a total evaluation from a physical standpoint. Morris, deep drop, goes down the field, misses Britt Davis. You know, and how many times have you heard that me say this this evening? Some of these catches would be difficult catches, but that's what separates the great wide receivers from the good wide receivers. This is a very catchable ball. I don't think there's any question. Decent protection right there, and perhaps a little bit high. But you know, you, one of the things with, again, zone coverage, and that's what you're seeing, sometimes you gotta settle down and just basically just settle down, choke your molar down, hang around in that dead spot in the zone. Here comes pressure, he dumps it off, and it is incomplete. It'll bring up a fourth down situation here, and obviously the Huskies forced to go for it on fourth and 10, trailing by 13 at the 231 mark. Well, you mentioned LSU and Arkansas yesterday. How about that fourth down play? Wow. How about that fourth down play by Arkansas? Why? Because the quarterback was permitted to break contain. And that forced the breakdown in coverage. Exactly. Morris, he's got time, he looks, he throws, and he's got his man. Keeps Northern Illinois hopes alive. First down in Ball State territory at the 45. Matt Simon makes the catch. Now, Matt Simon, again, zone coverage here. Number 85, decent protection, well-thrown ball, runs away from the defender, Ryan Morris leads him just enough. That was man-to-man -man coverage there, too, which is, you know, for a, a big guy, Simon, 6'2", 200 pounds, showed great athleticism. It's amazing, David, how long college football goes right now. Uh, when I coached at Michigan years ago, we never played a game after Thanksgiving. I always look forward to that Friday, first day off since the beginning of August. Morris is hit as he throws. Down he goes, and I think we have a flag, which should be in the area of pass interference. I think this is going to be on Trey Lewis. Official timeout. We have a Ball State player that is down, and it's Eddie Burke, free safety. I think the, the, the uh, number 12, Trey Lewis, just a little grab, just a little grab by the back of the shirt. Why do they call him Trey Lewis? Because he is George Samuel Lewis the third. Trey. Trey. There you have it. Out of Raleigh, North be Carolina. A great basketball player at Purdue back in the 80s named Trey Lewis. He could shoot the ball. Fork Union Military Academy. This young man came out of Raleigh, North Carolina by way of Fork Union Military Academy. Fork Union Military Academy is a prep school. And it's a school basically for guys, maybe they want a little more seasoning in, in their particular sport. Hey, maybe it's an academic deal, I don't know. But they've turned out some excellent football players. You'll find Fork Union football players basically on on every roster in the country. That official there looked like he was getting ready to catch the football. I mean, would that have been a complete, he's in play. Matt Simon makes the catch, chains move. A little and, pit uh, play using the official, David. The Northern Illinois Huskies are in business inside the 25. Great drive, great drive thus far. David Bryant has it inside the 25 to the 23 yard line may have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. A little bit of a surprise for Mr. Bryant there to get the football. Yep. You gotta get your head around, get your head around. Here it is again. Morris to the end zone. It's wow. a touchdown. Northern Illinois, give him six. Evans Adonis made the catch and the Huskies are alive. Ryan Morris, what great presence, what great vision, and it's such a well-thrown football. I'm impressed with him. I'm impressed with his drive. 
Good arm strength. Here's the ball up in the air at the highest point. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm keeping myself between the defender and the ball. Great catch, great throw. Evans Adonis hauls down a huge touchdown for Northern Illinois. They are now within six. Let's take another look at this touchdown. I mean, when he gets himself, watch the route here. Good drive off the football. Looks for the ball, gets the arm up, wants the ball to throw him, be thrown over him. No, instead he adjusts to the football. You work on this, you practice that. That was a situation where he was a young guy, was not going to be denied. He put himself between the quarterback and the defender, between the, between the ball and, and the defender, and made the catch. Great catch. 11 plays, 76 yards, 1 minute and 30 seconds. Very, very impressive. All right, let's go to Kenny McReynolds. Hey, guys, how tough is Adonis? Right before he came in for that play, they were working on his knee. They had the knee pads up. They were working on his right knee. He jumps off the trainer's table, lines up at the line of scrimmage, and goes in to catch a touchdown. Now, now that's what I call a football player. Hey He's Kenny, tough. you might find out what it did with his knee and go see that, oh, that you trainer better, over you, there. Hey, you better believe it. Let me go to the trainer's table. <laughs> so you won't have number 12. I uh, know it would be number 19. I've had 18. Oh, 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 my goodness me. <laughs> Here comes the onside kick. Chris Nendick, the Huskies are set. There's the kick. Football is up, and it is covered by Ball State. Daniel Ift made the play, and that will probably be it. The Huskies out of timeouts. Ball State has the football with a six-point lead. That onside kick, you basically want to tee the football up and kick it right at the top of the top stripe and get the ball dribble, 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 then all of a sudden it gains a little more momentum, boom, it hops up in the air, now you give yourself a chance. He kicked that just a little bit too hard. Yep, I agree with you. You just see two great coaches right there. You know, Brady, Brady Hoke's the same way. You mentioned Brady, a guy that you'd like your son to play for if you had a son. Brady Hoke and Joe Novak are cut from the same cloth, and that's what makes this conference so, so very, very unique. Boy, this kid here, uh, David, I mean, we've talked so much about him this evening, and uh, there's still so much uh, to say about him. Nate Davis, an outstanding talent. Yep, out of Bel Air, Ohio. This guy can really, really play. Scored 1,800 points as a basketball player in high school. I knew you'd see that. <laughs> I knew that would catch your eye. Victory formation for Ball State. They will walk away with a hard-fought victory go to seven and five overall five and two in the mid-american conference how many of those were three pointers david uh 69. <laughs> it wouldn't be it wouldn't surprise me if you knew <laughs> oh, it's been great my friend you too it's been great you're the man oh well, you are thank you been Consummate friends for a long time and uh, called a lot of football games with bob and look forward to calling a lot more next season so do i so do i Brady Hoke gets the Gatorade bath, and that's going to be cold. Oh. Wow. All right, we're going to take a quick timeout. Ball State wins it, 27 to 21. We will have the Casey's postgame show and the Casey's coaches' comments postgame show all coming up. So we'll be right back with that. Our Comcast Sports Show. This is you after an energy drink. Unfortunately, so is this. Why do energy drinks make you crash? One minute you're wired up. The next, you feel worse than before. The answer is large amounts of sugar and caffeine. That's why you should try a new liquid energy shot called 5-Hour Energy. With 5-Hour Energy, you can leave grogginess behind and sail through your day without feeling jittery, tense, or, you know. That's because 5-Hour Energy contains a powerful blend of B vitamins for energy, amino acids for focus and better mood, and enzymes to help you feel it faster. There's zero sugar, about as much caffeine as a cup of coffee, and only 8 calories. The 2-ounce shot takes just seconds to drink, and in minutes you're feeling awake, alert, and productive. And that feeling lasts for hours. So if your energy drink makes you crash, switch to 5-Hour Energy. Hours of energy now, no crash later. Find out if 5-Hour Energy is right for you. It's available at these fine stores. Or for more information, go to 5-HourEnergy.com.
This broadcast of Northern Illinois Husky football is brought to you by Fatty's Pub and Grill, the official tailgate home of NIU Athletics. Village Commons Bookstore for all your Husky clothing and souvenirs. Visit vcbs.com. Applebee's, try Applebee's, car side to go, you call it in, we bring it out. Casey's General Stores, the official convenience store of NIU Athletics. Casey's, a convenience store and a whole lot more. Blaine's Farm and Fleet, I found it at Farm and Fleet. Jewel, we take one stop shopping to the next level. TCF Bank opens seven days. The NIU MBA programs take the NIU MBA challenge. The NIU Alumni Association, stay connected with NIU. Kishwaukee Hospital, health, heart, home. And Resource Bank, where banking is a pleasure. All right, this is the Casey's Post Game Show. David Kaplan, Bob Kamel with you. And Northern Illinois ends their season, a disappointing season record-wise. They dealt with a ton of injuries. And they lose today to Ball State, 27 21, Bobby C, time to name the Adidas player of the game. It has to be Nate Davis. I, I don't think there's any question. He managed the game well, got his team into the right play, all the physical skills, made all the great throws, great presence, knows how to read defenses. This young guy is just a sophomore, but he is something very, very special. All right, Bob, it's been a heck of a season. Northern Illinois looks to get healthy for next year. I don't think there's any question. They'll hit the recruiting trail. Joe Novak will come back and you know, there will never, ever be quit in this football team. This is a great football program headed up by a great football coach at a great university. Been a lot of fun working with you, oh, Bobby. Yes, David. Thank all you right. so much. Thank you for joining us all season long for NIU Football and Comcast Sports Net. We had a great time. We hope to see you again next season. For Bob Kamel, Kenny McReynolds, our great crew, I'm David Kaplan saying so long from Husky Stadium in DeKalb with Ball State beats Northern Illinois 27 to 21. The preceding has been an exclusive presentation of Northern Illinois University and Comcast Sportsnet. Have a great holiday season, everybody. See you. I am so busted. They're asleep. Cut the lights. Who's counting on your breaks today?